Three, two, there we go, we're live! Oh. Oh. Sam's mic was broken, so we didn't know exactly when we were going live. But we're live now! And welcome to High Rollers Dungeons & Dragons, the 5th edition D&D game here on the Yogscast oh. Twitch. He just dropped all his dice. He just dropped all his dice. <laughs> Let me introduce the party this week. We have Trot drops his dice, Chris. What? what? <laughs> yes. Mark just got back to Bristol. I literally what? arrived 40 minutes ago, back from Manchester. I didn't sleep. Uh, I've, I'm functioning purely, pretty much purely on caffeine. No, um, but I, got, I went to a lovely gaming store, which I'll talk about in a moment. Uh, we have Katie. No. We have Tom Hazel, that's oh. his name. Tall boy. And then we have <laughs> Kim, oh, that's is. your name. Sure. Small boy. Small boy. Um, <laughs> Scott boy, tall boy, small boy. Salmon Red boy. boy. Salmon boy. Is, is this really bad Red for the boy. camera? Yeah, don't do that. Oh. Right. Okay. Floofy hair uh, boy. Floofy hair. Floofy. Scott floofy? boy. Scott. Scott. Scott boy. boy. Yeah. Listen to me. Right. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> just a dear. We're trying to make our to boy me. names. No. <laughs> um, welcome back. We are in the middle of quite an intense situation, but before we go into that, a couple of things. First, I want to say, uh, if you are in Manchester, check out Fanboy 3. It's a gaming store. I literally was just there. I bought an amazing Korak miniature from the new D&D uh, really range. Cool. It is really um, Really lovely store, but the thing I really wanted to talk about is they do uh, regular D&D nights for new players. So if you're in Manchester and you've never played and you're worried about playing, they do a night just for you where they'll take you through it really slowly. It's really, really cool. The staff were lovely. Oh, Northerners. Really nice. They're lovely people. Why are you so surprised about that? I just, I, I, I'm used to Scottish, mi um, southern miserable uh -oh. people. No, I meant Excuse southern. Me? I meant uh -oh. southern miserable people. Scottish people are great. <laughs> yes, I'm sure they are. But There's no. nothing fucking wrong with us, Mark. No, they, Prick. you're all fucking horrible. I hate you. Um, really, really lovely. Uh, really lovely store. Go and check that out. Fanboy 3 in Manchester. Um, What's uh, that name again? Turns out people are people, Mark. People are people. Crazy, right? No, people in London they are can't. horrible. Yeah, that's London. <laughs> that's London. <laughs> well, yeah, true. Wow. So come see us at MCM <laughs> in London. Yeah! In it's full of uh, shit people. Oh. Don't forget, like take out everything I say with a pinch of satire. Except you four. You have to take everything I say very seriously. Gospel. Okay. Um, sure. My pencil's broken. Thing, don't forget, you can buy our merch at store.yogscast.com. You can check that out. Uh, I'm trying to think of other stuff. Nice hoodies. Nice hoodies. Nice we got T-shirts. We got uh, no got dice sets also, left. Also, there is currently a deal pin on badge. pins again. So if you buy five pins, uh, or is it four, four and you get one? You four get pins, five. you get the fifth one free. So if you use uh, pin set. crazy at checkout, but you can choose what your free pin is. So there's lots of high rollers pins if you want. Them. So you buy all of our ones and get his one free. Yeah, yeah. sure. Because th that's how it works. It's definitely not the HR logo one. Is the one that sells the best. Nah, it's probably camp. Anyway, yeah. it's not camp. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the other thing I was going to mention, I will need to get this put into the chat bot during the break, but if you haven't done it yet, this is kind of the last chance. We did an audience survey. We were just asking some information about you to learn a bit more about your demographics, um, a little bit more who you are, so we can plan What's things blood like type? merch, blood type. Uh, we want to know how much you've got in your bank account, guess. your social security details. It's fine, you can trust us. Um, but it just helps us plan things like merch and events and things like that. Uh, you can find the link on our Twitter, at High Rollers d, d I will also try and get it put into Twitch chat during the break. I Just because I was traveling back, I forgot to do it before the stream started. Um, but if you could do that, that would be really, really helpful. It's in our Discord as well. Um, it will just help us out with some future planning stuff that we're, we're looking into. Yes. Um, there's a fan art video in the break. There's a fan art video in the break. How can people submit fan art in the future, Chris Trot? You'll see in the fan art video. You'll it's see in the, the fan, art fan art video. video. Also, right. the links to the music are at the end of the fan art video. Okay. Um, and the yeah, names well, of the them. names of them. And I think that's it for stuff to talk about. Yeah. Okay. Let's like do I a recap. Something, but I can't remember what was. <laughs> so can so I broken. sit behind everyone and not game, but no. backseat? No. No. Okay. Fine. In fact. Do you want us to show you? Oh, okay. No, no, Let's address it. <laughs> Let's address it. I, I'm just going to say. Oh, no. I'm no, all I'm going to say is, at the end of the day. If you don't like the way that we do things in High Rollers D&D, &D, Piss off! I you don't mean, have to watch it. If it really annoys you, if you get that frustrated that you say nasty things online, maybe don't watch. Because we want people that enjoy our game and support us and appreciate the way that guys play their characters and the way that I run the game. It might be wrong. We get stuff wrong sometimes. That's okay. You can let us know. You can Your say, fun is wrong, Mark. You can Your say, fun is wrong. By the way, that's not how Fallen works. Oh, next time, I'll know. But if you come on and you're being insulting, 
get out. Who's being or just assaulted? if we make decisions, there are decisions. At yeah, the it's, these are their characters. Go play your own game. You want to run a game? Run your own game. That's what I say. If you want to do Manchester. it your way. Or go to Manchester go to and play that, that it. Start, no, yeah. because don't be mean to them either. Oh, um, uh, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Have that's the last thing on that. mean to you? No. People are never mean to me, Kim. I am. Especially, <laughs> no, well, yeah. Exactly. Gets enough from us. It gets, I get enough from hat films. Smith, mainly. Uh, right, recap time. Mm -hmm. Last time on High Rollers, dun dun dun, Jack Bauer theme, um, you did a couple, a little bit of tidying things up. You travelled to the Winter Spire after wrapping up some things in Greybell, a city where you had been uh, dealing with a uh, master vampire and some of Cam's kind of backstory and his past and his family, the Bucklands. You went from there, you travelled to the Winter Spire, somewhere you'd, you'd previously been, except Reynard, it was his first time there. You met with Nalistri, um, who kind of kept you up to date on some things which had been happening, let you know that some of his messages weren't arriving at Talos Val. He'd been worried about you all, Elora especially. Um, and They kissed. Spoilers! Um, it got to the point where you did learn that the Frost Giant clan you'd met, that you befriended with Sferia, they hadn't heard from them in a while. Um, and so you made the plan, you scried on Talis Val, and you watched as Korak underwent some sort of ceremony at the Temple of Bakhmut. Marriage. Um, something, you're not quite sure of the details, but some sort of religious ceremony took place. Um, and after that, you decided to go and check on the Frost Giants, feeling that you had some time. Uh, things didn't seem to be you know, urgent or you weren't needed. So you, you made your way to the camp. Um, just before you left, there was a tender moment uh, of just uh, between Nalistri and Alora, uh, which people seemed to enjoy. Tender. Um, yeah. And tender then you made your way to the Frost Giant camp. <laughs> Upon arriving at the Frost Giant camp, and this is where the smiles on everyone's faces will drop, uh -huh. uh, is because when you arrived there, it was a scene of carnage. The Frost Giants had been slain, and you noticed an enormous blue dragon was basically seemingly sleeping in their camp. But when you approached, um, as best as you tried to be as stealthy as possible, the creature seemed to detect uh, a presence nearby and begun hunting you. Um, uh, you attempted to flee and you are still in the process of fleeing. Um, as Elora and Cam have used Dimension Door and a bit of movement to get up to a tree line up on the sort of... You're kind of fight This whole flight is taking place kind of along a coastal area. Um, a long slope of kind of loose dirt and gravel and scree. Uh, with a mountain path that goes up a hill leading back towards the kind of like Scoop pine forest. Scoop up the ski slope. Yeah. Scoop up the ski slope um, <laughs> that leads down to the coast. Uh, you have you shoot up the oh, ski slope. Sure like <laughs> Get the laughs out now, because there won't be any laughter soon. <laughs> no. Um, and you are currently in a hop suit now. Uh, Elora <laughs> and uh, Cam are currently at the tree line, ready to use uh, transport <laughs> via plants. Juto is a little bit ahead of the dragon, he's about halfway between Cam and Elora and the dragon. But Reynard, um, the dragon is hot on your tails. Mm -hmm. There was a slight uh, clarification, I made a bit of an error with the dragon's movement. It is basically about 10 feet behind you. Oh. Um, and you are currently yeah. at. So just so you guys know, and I'm sure if uh, Sam pulls up the map cam, it won't be that obvious to you. Each of the squares represents about 50 foot of movement because uh, of like the distances right. involved. Um, this isn't like five feet movement. Also so I just wanted to provide... I'm a, not a bear. Yeah, you are not a bear. I just wanted to provide a rough kind of example of where people were and how far they had to go, right? And if you can't see me, I'm underneath the wing. <laughs> you are, yes. He is currently right next to the dragon. Point at everybody, that's Reynard. That is that's Reynard. Next is Juto. And then you've got a Lauren Cam. You've got a Lauren Cam. Then, you might not see it, it's a bit small. But there's a dragon. There's a dragon. Yeah. Um, and uh, the initiative is already in place and Juto. It is your go. Who the? Parley. No. Um, <laughs> I've had all week to think about this, and do you know what? I didn't. The music didn't like either. perfectly stopped as soon as it's like your go. <laughs> Perfect. I guess I'll keep running. So you're just going to move up? So it's the. So it's 50 feet of movement, so you just basically move yourself sort of like. But then I'm in air stance. So. Oh, you can, da you can spend a key point, yes. I'm going to dash go as well. You can go. So 150. So yeah. So you basically you are flying above um, Elora and Cam at this point. I've got a Guardian of Faith there. Uh, okay. So yes, oh yeah, that's good. Good yeah. shout. Okay, so, so that's, that's the Guardian so, of Faith. So team. I'm 150. So, you, so I'm up to. Uh, you, you're you're basically 50 foot. Us. Yeah. So you basically next. You're flying above them okay. at this point. At the end of your turn, the dragon 
takes its one of its legendary actions. Oh, cool. It you watch as it kind of Reynard's closest to it. Its eyes kind of dart at the the monk who is now soared forwards, and the, the three of you are grouped around the other two who seemingly are waiting. And its kind of brow furrows in a moment, um, and it instead chooses to start uh, viciously uh, beating its wings. Um, and it, the force of the gale is so strong that Reynard, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for you and the Griffin. Okay, combined. So for me, no nope. one save each. Oh, Fourteen okay. for yep. the Griffin. It's a natural one. Okay. Uh, so uh, what happens is you and the Griffin both take uh, some damage. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> You take 14 points of damage as the, the force of these wings is so strong, you are buffeted uh, by almost like force, almost like being hit by a hammer. And the force is so strong, it knocks you off the griffin, oh, and the griffin's no. wings buckle, and you begin falling to the ground. Um, How high up is it? They were 100 feet up in the air. Uh, oh. This is something when you are knocked prone and you are flying, you fall. Oh boy. That's uh, that was 14 points of damage. And you took 14 points of damage. And how high up am I? 100 feet, and oh, it is now no. your turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, you have a round at the end of this round. If you don't do something, you will hit the ground. Uh, okay. Um, hit the ground running. Is So am I next to the Sorry, griffin? Sorry, Gavin, free. You can't <laughs> run down a mountain. <laughs> So I'm next. I'm like next to the griffin, like just falling off. You're basically you've been kind of blown off. You're five feet. You can try and claw back onto it, but the griffin is also falling. You can see its wings have buckled, and it is tumbling with you. Look at your stat sheet for inspiration. I mean, is there <laughs> any way that I can <laughs> recover it if I was to if if I got back onto it, would yes. I be able to recover it into? You flight? can try. Okay. For sure. In that case, I would like to. Could I? Oh no, I guess I'm close enough to grab onto it. I want to grab onto it. Well, that is still going to be an athletics check to grab onto That's it, because you're trying to like reach out. Natural and 20. 20. Natural 20. So Yay. you kind of, you, you fly out, but you almost, um, you kind of, you angle yourself a little bit as you're falling, and you manage to grab onto the griffin's feathers. Shadow of the Colossus Star, you pull yourself up onto its reins. Awesome. To try and get it to right itself, give me an animal handling check. Um. You are currently on the griffin, though. Uh-oh. It's oh, caught that's hot. massively. That's a, that's a big cough. That the was edge. almost natural, natural 20. 20. Oh, two natural 20s. I'm not, okay, that was between yeah. a 20 and a 2, and then yep. it was a 20. Let me just take the magnet. Okay. Yeah. okay, so uh, you grab onto the griffin, um, and what you manage to. You, <laughs> you manage to kind of coerce it, you kind of try and sort of like straighten its wing, like its wings have kind of almost been like sort of like not broken, but they're kind of in weird positions. You kind of haul the wings and you kind of right it and you're, you're kind of trying to command it with your knees. Just before you hit the ground, you the, the griffin starts oh, beating its wings. Okay. That is however going to be the full movement is you trying to right it, you basically just fall straight down. So was my action getting back on? The it? action was, your basically movement and action was you getting on it and then righting the griffin to prevent yourself from taking 10d6 points of damage. Uh, I mean, okay. <laughs> Only 10d6, that's fine. Uh, I think I can do something as a bonus. What would you like to do as a bonus? Kill dragon. Oh uh, no, I think all I've got really is... It's not a beast, is it? A uh, dragon is not a beast, it is a dragon. <laughs> it's its own thing. Okay, I'm going to use ensnaring strike, mm -hmm. so it's the next time I hit a creature. Okay, so you um, can't, you basically are preparing like a bolt, basically. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I oh, think Oh, actually, yes? um, sorry, concentration. Yeah. Can I do two concentration things at once? No. You can only maintain think... one concentration spell at a time. In that case... I believe Hunter's Mark is a concentration. You can is. lose the Hunter's Mark and cast in Staring Strike. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so Hunter's Mark goes, um, but you ready yourself a bolt. Cam Buckland. I, I can see this in the distance, right? It's about 250 feet away at this point. Uh, what do we do? You've watched as Raynard, basically, this dragon's wings started beating. Um, sorry, at the end of... It would have moved 40 feet down after it did that, but it still wouldn't be in range to take a tail attack. So yeah, can buck, let's go. What do we do? I'm right next Doug, to the At this distance, I can't do anything. This, and Buckland, what are you doing? I'm really far away. trying uh, to prepare to get us away. I'm gonna ready in action if it comes in range, I'm gonna cast a Bane on it. Okay, great. Um, Elora, what would you like to do? Uh, 
I would actually like to. I'm just gonna have to use this for Sverio at the moment. Juto He's and wild. Cam. <laughs> Is that Sverio? Yeah. I'd like to push Aww. Juto and Cam and say get behind, get into cover mm -hmm. and actually go a little bit into the trees. I'm yeah, fine. it's not a big forest, but you can definitely get some cover yeah. from the trees themselves. They're big, thick pine pine trees. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, you can do that if you want to move yourself into the tree line. So he's still 200 and... Something. He's 250 feet away at this point. Okay. There's really not much else I can do with okay. what I've got, so... It's very amusing, like this far. <laughs> um, Lumbering. The dragons go. Spells. Is it? The dragon, sensing that you are still in flight, but you have not had any forward acceleration, descends. Uh, uh -huh. It's about 40 feet away. Uh, no, it would be 60 feet away, which it just flies straight down. And uh, I'll roll a d6 for its breath weapon. No lightning returns to its jaw. It still hasn't got this jaw, but it now kind of looms down. And as it arrives, you suddenly realize just how majestic and frightening this creature is. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, that's a six, wisdom, uh, eight. Okay, so you are filled with such an intense dread of this creature, you will become frightened. It actually positions itself oh, between no. you and your friends. Um, the creature is so, you are frightened. Uh, you must basically, as per the frightened condition, you have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls um, while the source of your fear is in sight and you, must, you cannot willingly move closer towards it. And then it begins to attack you with a savagery. First, it attempts to try and bite you with its huge jaws. Uh, that's a natural 20, I'm afraid. Oh, for fuck. I'm oh, really sorry. Shit. Like, it just really is a natural 20. I've got shield um, spells. So this is going to be 2d10 double. And I have to fly away from you guys as well. Yep. I've got nothing. Do I have any protection against fear or some sort of recovery I could do? If you do, by all means, you can make a save through at the end of your turn. Okay. You, you can all, you do that. Uh, that's fuck. <laughs> that's going to be 39 nothing. points of damage. Do you have any lightning resistance? Uh, no. That's 39 points of damage. These huge jaws. Um, in fact, that would actually be on the griffin. That's not going to be to Reynard. The griffin takes 39 points of damage. Oh. It kind of look, it, it looks at the two of you and seeing that you had to pull yourself onto the griffin, it kind of smiles and <laughs> bites into the metal griffin, which does take damage as normal. Nice. Um, then two of its powerful claws come. <laughs> I do have a quick question. Yes. Do I have to do a wisdom save for the griffin as well? Technically, yes, you do. It's all creatures. Uh, what's its wisdom save? Why do I see one. that? It'll just be whatever its wisdom is. Wisdom. 13? 13 is not enough. That is, it's also, despite being a magical being, it's, it's terrified of this dragon. Um, a claw comes in. Uh, does a 22 hit the griffin? Uh, yes. It's only got 12. It's not got much armor, it's just it. Bit. It's gonna take 18 more points. It's one done though. So it, <laughs> underneath you, you're kind of hovering just above the ground. Not enough to take any fall damage, but it basically, <laughs> it shrinks down into its miniature form. Um, and then you just hear a <laughs> as a giant claw <laughs> comes down towards you this time. Oh, okay. It's gonna be a 29. So that's, Jesus, my damage is insane today. Good, uh, that's good. That's uh, 19 points of damage as this claw, you kind of throw yourself um, onto the kind of like sloped gravel and you turn at the last minute, but these giant claws just rake through, shredding through even your armor. Um, and you just feel this terrible pain, searing hot pain rake across you. Um, hmm. Juto, that is the end of its turn. Uh, let me just... So what What do I see in front? What? What is Reynard? You watch as this dragon, you guys wouldn't see that much. This huge dragon just lands in front of Reynard, blocking your sight to him. And you just see it <laughs> smashing down. Um, you would probably see glimpses that the griffin is not there anymore. And am I seeing Reynard falling? Like, is he falling? No, he's, he's on the ground. ground. The dragon's he's on the ground. covering it. The okay. but he's like, the dragon is blocking the line of sight between you and him. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> uh, How did I kill a dragon in Monster Hunter? <laughs> did you not? Be a strong killer. I died like four times. 
So well, you only get two in this game, I'm afraid, mate. <laughs> God, That's it. if that. Juto, what would you like to do? You don't have forever to think, I'm afraid. I've got to rush you a bit. This was okay. 250 feet away. Um, yeah. it, so, oh, God, yeah, so I have to go back if I want if to you want to, If you want to do something, yeah. I mean, it's, it's really down to you guys it's now. It's 250 away. He's currently 250 feet away, yeah. Can I see Reynard? Give me a perception check. Just because, like, the dragon's form isn't, like, a solid block, so you might catch glimpses of him, but it's also attacking him. 13. I'd say it's enough that you can just, maybe you barely see like flashes of black and gold in between the, the dragon's powerful limbs and in between swishes of its tail and its wings. You just catch glimpses. Um, but you probably, I mean, would Reynard cry out with the claw hitting him? Would he kind of scream or anything? Because you'd probably hear it. If he's terrified right now, yeah, I think he's he probably might screaming. Be, he's, either, he's either screaming or he's beyond that point where he's completely just silent. silent. Do you want me to roll for it? Sure, what should I do? Uh, just roll me, roll a d20. If you get an even, he's silent. If you get an odd, he's screaming. I'm just yelling. He's, you I'm can just hear him like, ah, like screaming in, in horror. It's not even in pain, it's in fear. Ah, ah. <laughs> what are you going to do, Kim? I need, to, I need you to make a decision. Ooh. Otherwise, it's, you can delay. Juto, save me! <laughs> Specifically. <laughs> um. I would like to run back. Can I have the monster man? So I'll go 150, so it's 100 feet away from me. Uh, no, you. it's 250 feet away from you where no, you are. No, but if I run back, yep. that's 150. You would be 100 feet away from yeah. that next turn, yes. I'm going to do that. Okay. So just move yourself three spaces back. Uh, I'm just thinking whether or not well. to go into patient defense or... Well, it's, if you want to move 150, you need to spend your key point to step of the wind. So you kind of using air stance, you throw, you kind of step, you're almost like using the air to push yourself along, like in these big long jumps, you're like... Pew, 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 um, and you fly back towards Reynard, hearing his terrified screams. Reynard, it's your turn. <clears throat> um, red, so red. On the scree Ooh. slope. Can I just say, yes. I'm doing it as stealthily as possible, like trying to stay out of the dragon's... Okay, so if so he's, if he he's like, facing away from you. Yeah, so if he tries to move or something, I'm going to try and move with, move him. with him. Give me a stealth check. You will be at disadvantage because you're moving at full speed. You're trying Pass to make cover as much spell? difference. Um, you it's haven't cast another concentration spell yet, so yes, it would be. Eight. That's with a plus ten bonus from Pass Without Trace. Oh, so 18. Um, yeah. 18. I just added 10 to that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was going to do complicated yeah, math. math and then it was like, no, it's just... Uh, <laughs> Reynard. It's um, root. The scree slope, yes. Uh -huh. um, so if I was to go down it again... It's much faster to go down than it is to go up. It counts as difficult terrain going up, but you actually move, a, you move an extra 10 <laughs> feet going down. Well, I ignore difficult terrain anyway. Okay, but, great. Um, yeah. You can step up it as quickly as you need to. I can't. I have to get away from it. You do have to move away from it. You count, well, you cannot move Towards, towards it. it. So right now, the only movement you could do is away. Okay, in that case, could I go... Uh, so if I've got... As a bonus action, I can fleet of... No, actually, I don't think I can fleet of foot as a bonus action. Oh, yes. Yeah, I can. Fleet you can of foot dash bonus as a cunning action, action yeah. Um, so so you can basically to... move twice. So what's your move? Your normal movement is 30 feet, right? Yeah. So basically, you can move one square, but I'll keep in mind that you've got an extra 10 feet. Okay, so I'm going to go... That way. Okay, so you start moving away from him. To, more that way rather than back towards the One of his claws again. does try and lash out an attack opportunity, but I believe he has disadvantage. He has disadvantage. So that's going to be a 19 still. Yep. So he's six. That is 13 more points of damage. There's a claw. Whoosh! lashes out at you, tears your cloak, well no, you don't have your cloak, tears your tunic, you watch as like um, leather straps are pulled free, um, terrible dragon claw marks. I've missed a lot of giant killer attacks against him. I don't think you've attacked the dragon yet. Well, when a large or larger creature within five feet... You can make an attack back. Is, I guess within five feet, like his yeah, claws... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's got a range of ten feet, but it would have attacked you. Yeah, you well, can I've still make an attack. I've got disadvantage because of the fear. Yes, you do. Oh, okay. Uh, that's still 25. That's still going to hit. Yeah, the, wow. you kind of pull Wilhelm out with shaking hands. You loose a crossbow bolt. So this one is with... 
Thunder. It's with Thunder. Thunder does take effect. Because he's You're not sure about lightning. He's a lightning boy. <laughs> yeah. But it's also got ensnaring strike. And it's a giant. Does it? You get any damage from giant killer thing or anything? Oh, uh, giant killer. No, it's just. Um, it's just you get a free attack if something big attacks you. So I do one d eight plus one d six of thunder. Yep. So that's two sixes plus six. So that's eighteen damage. Eighteen. Very nice. He also has to make a strength saving throw. Sure. Okay. Um. I'm not doing this to troll you. I genuinely have to work out what a modifier a 25 strength is. What's 23, Katie? Is it plus six? <laughs> yeah. So that'll be, it'll be plus seven. Okay. Uh, however, I roll a two. Oh. So the bowlers of your thing, you actually shaking hands, despite your fear, you are trained. You remember what Felix taught you and you aim for its wings. And you, you, you kind of, you're like, and the bowlers, it kind of like dodges expecting a bolt and it kind of sneers. <laughs> and then it's, its wings get tangled up and it, and oh. it becomes restrained, right? That's, uh, it is restrained. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes 1d6 piercing at the start of each of its turns. Okay. And it has to use a action against my spell save to break or free. it's stuck. Yeah, okay. Like it's just... Hit. But it can still attack, it's restrained, which means you do have advantage on attacking it. Currently. Good. Um, but yeah, you kind of like, rah, rah, you're a little griffin rider. I shall enjoy consuming you. So that was a reaction. That was so a reaction. I still have my action. Yes. In that case, I want to shoot it twice. Like, even though I've got. Well, the fear's cancelled out by it being restrained. Ooh. So it's just a straight d20 roll now. That's. Uh, <laughs> 23. 23. Yep, hits. 1d8. You're finding like these little pinpoints in its in between its scales. That's nine damage. Nine more. And you can see that the bolts are sinking into its flesh, but it just kind of flexes its muscles. Uh, well, this one I'll sharpshooter then. Natural twenty. Ooh. Oh my god! Really? With the sharpshooter? Yeah, sharp shooter. Damn. Three nat twenty. Three nat twenty. I mean, it's gonna hit. So it's filthy. That is filthy. So you double the dice. It's a good way four, to go out, Tom. But. Um, <laughs> Four plus six, which is ten. I plus another you. ten from sharpshooter. Twenty. So twenty from that sharpshooter damage. So you kind of aim up. This one you aim up towards its eye. You don't quite take the eye out, but the bolt carves like a scar along its eye. Ah! And you can see this thing is getting mad. And that's that's all she wrote. Okay. At the end of your turn, its tail now comes whipping out. Wham! Uh. Slams you. Uh, that is going to be a 16. Damn it. Okay. Does that still hit? Yeah. yeah. Uh, getting there. That's going to be patience? 12 more points. Wham! Yes, His tail it. slaps you as hard as, you know, with a force, almost knocking you to the ground. Yeah, will do. Um, after <laughs> Reynard, that is Cam Buckland. Shit. Shit. See, when you're not prepared for these fights, Shit. Yeah. you just have the wrong spells prepared. Yeah, you've got the wrong got spells prepared, you spent your spell spells. slots. Oh, that's got freaking lightning spells. I'm like, yeah, that's going to work. I've raised dead twice. Yeah, <laughs> that's D&D &D, though, you know? It's like... Yeah, I know, it's just frustrating. Shit. And I am, as I say, Shit. I'm dimensioning door back to Reynard. You can go up to 500 feet. Where would you like to go? Inside, like to go, go inside. So that's inside. 10 squares. <laughs> I want to appear no. inside the dragon. We're not do you a remember scan? a tail of a bard <laughs> and an elven rogue who once tried to dimension door into a dragon and it they didn't succeeded. really... They succeeded. Did but they? They had an immovable rod, which makes a big difference. We um, did have that. Sorry, we had an super quick. Rod. Can I yes. make a save against the fear? Yes, you may. Have you got another one to get back? No. Uh, that's 18 plus whatever I need to do. 18. That is enough. You... Kind of set, like now that you've, you know, you can see that this, you're hurting this thing, and the oh. fact that your your bowlers worked, yeah, you you know what, you can take this thing. You ain't shit, dragon. You are immune to its frightful presence effect for the next twenty four hours. Oh, um, you dimension door where? How far is he from me? So like he 200. is two hundred and fifty feet. Yeah, I will dimension door within forty feet. No, I'm gonna go right next to Reynard. Okay, just move, 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 mini. I, I can do it if you well, need to walk around. Yeah. I've, I've got to go! I'm not fearful of the dragon anymore, I'm now fearful of the can that just appeared right next to me. Can I, with this dimension door and my bonus action, 
grab the bronze griffin and activate it. And see if I can find Your it. Your action is Dimension Door. Yes. You, as a bonus action, can pick the item up, but I would not say it's an action to activate the bronze griffin. You also don't know if this will work. We gotta You've go. never seen it be destroyed and then resummoned before. Okay. Um, but that's that's what you do. Okay. Um, at the end of your turn, Cam Buckland, sensing a new being that's arrived, um, the dragon will... <laughs> its wings begin beating powerfully. Um, both you and Reynard need to make dexterity saving throws again. Okay. Such good rules today. Don't say that. Don't jinx. Oh, yeah, you're dead 27. now. 27. 27. Still rolled. <laughs> so, um, Cam Buckland, you take... 11 points of damage, and you are knocked prone. Um, Reynard, you've seen this attack coming, so you kind of, you dig yourself in, you get Axul, slam it into the into the slope, <laughs> being blown back, but you resist the, the force. Not, not restrained down, by the but... Huh? Down. Not really. That is, res- like, it's weird that it can do a wing attack, but... Well, it's wings it. I guess, yeah, it's, maybe it's like pounding the ground. It's we'll blowing. reflavor it. It's, okay. it breathes in air. It you know, it's and legendary it and it blows it down. It's a legendary action, um, but that's what it does. Uh, so that's the end of Cam Buckland's go. Uh, next it is Elora. And that's the rest of its ones for this turn. That counts as two doing that. How far is he now? Because he moved a little bit in front. How far is the well, dragon? Well, no, he didn't, because you remember those squares were all like 50 feet, yeah. so it's, he's still exactly where he was. 250 feet yeah. away. He's really just repositioned himself, like, to be in front of Reynard. I guess you could say he's, like, 245 feet away. <laughs> I think you for clarifying. <laughs> We're using some vague estimations here. Okay. Because I Watch can't... everyone running back. Yeah. Ah, must rescue Reynard! To their dooms! <laughs> it's dumb. It's dumb instinct. Should have left him. That's adventuring parties. You're all good, fairly good characters. Maybe not Juto, she's more of a neutral, but... <laughs> wow, called out. She saved my life. I um, bought him from clothes! A little from column A! I B. bought him new clothes with an illumination on them so he's not afraid of the fucking that's dark, true, yo. That's true. Yeah, that's, you know, neutral can still do nice things. I save him, but I shout at him while I do it. Exactly, neutral. I would like <laughs> to... You belittle him, <laughs> he needs but also telling a nice I'm not arguing that. Lawful neutral, I think, is a very applicable... I'm, I'm neutral chaotic, though. <laughs> oh, well, that also works as well. Yeah. I set him on fire a little bit. What, what do you like to do? Bonus action, air elemental, hover speed of 90 feet dash. Whoa. So you can go 200 feet, let's say. 180. So, well, let's 180, say 180, but for, let's round it up to 200 feet. So, yeah, you can move yourself. Do you have a mini for your air elemental? I do. Air elemental. Where's some um, Sparrow? He there. was so far back, he's like at the beach, and he moves not you that poop. fast. <laughs> he basically moves one of these squares <laughs> a turn. Uh, so if you can put that... <laughs> <laughs> Don't diss uh, the arrow. So it goes 200, uh, so where from where Alora is, four squares, like, this way. Pretty much up next to Juto. Basically, yeah. yeah, next to Juto, but a little bit further in. Okay, so it's still 50 feet away from you at this point, but uh-huh. you can see it there, you've just dashed. Um, what about that? Sverrier will also dash. The bearish. Uh, and you can see he's now reaching the slope where he's like, Whoa! And you can hear him in the distance like, Whoa! Just shouting and things. The dragons go. Oh, it gets its fucking breath back. He's got that 20. Oh, he got the thing back. He got his breath back. It All looks right, around. Yeah. Um, it looks at Reynard, who has entrapped its wings, which is pretty insulting. So... You think you're brave, do you? Let's see how brave you are. <laughs> and as Cam is next to him, Cam and Reynard, oh, that is sorry, dexterity saving throws, people. please. Hey, could he take 1d6 of piercing damage? Yes, he can. What's the save? It's a d10 of piercing damage. It's a dex saving throw, please. 18. Is that 22. Not 18 fails, 22 passes. Oh. But you're still taking half I damage, mean, I'm sorry, You're but... still taking half damage, right? <laughs> oh. Um, oh! Can you roll a d10 for the damage on the dragon before I start rolling this as well, please? Is it d10? It's a d10 for the piercing damage, that's what you said earlier. Nope, I'm just going to start rolling. It's d10. He takes five damage. Yeah, take that. <laughs> Blue dragon. How much? 
It's just five. Five. Uh, damage. You can also do a strength uh, to escape it as well. He will do in a minute. Well, no, no, it's his action to use the breath weapon, so. He's just uh, the <laughs> <laughs> Probably all that's going to go. Yeah, it's definitely going to go. I wish I had more D10s. Does anybody have no. uh, four more D10s for no. me? No. No, uh, seven more D10s. No, no seven. No, sorry. Uh, how many? Six more D10s. No. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> how many do you uh, fucking need? Two. I think I only need five, actually. This should do. Five total or five more? So he's done five. He does 12 D10, so oh, I need hey. seven. It's only 100. He needs minutes. ones on all of them. Yeah. I can't say two people at once. If he does... This one is flawless, don't worry. If he does ones on all of them, then I'm very close to death. Reynard, you take 25 lightning damage. Okay. And Buckland, you take 50 points of damage. I'm down. I'm down. They're both down. Oh, God. Let's leave them! <sighs> lightning. The dragon, however, is... You can see it struggling. Um, it kind of whips its head around, but it can't move. It's like still, uh, like its legs are all bound by the same ropes. Its wings are all restrained. Um, and it's struggling to turn around. Uh, how damaged does it look? Um, it's difficult to say. It has some very small minor cuts and bleed yeah. and wounds, but it looks very tough. It looks. Though it is restrained. It is currently restrained. So you or anybody attacking it would have advantage, and its movement is zero currently. Um, and it didn't spend its action to get out, it, it chose to weaken its two foes that were next to it. So, Juto, your turn. Okay. I'm pretty much at the dragon, right? Uh, so you I'm are 50 feet away, 50 but feet. one normal move will get you there, and it's on the ground. So I'll move there. Can I move Stunning Strike, like attack to do a Stunning Strike, mm -hmm. and um, give a potion to Cam potions an action. Feeding a potion to somebody else is an action. Action, yeah. Okay. You could move up, you could attack it twice, flurry, two more, you could attack it four times, um, hoping that you get the stun off, um, or you can run up and you can feed a potion. You Knowing you though, it's probably immune to stun. I mean... Well, it's already it, grappled, so... It, the, okay. I am going to stun is it would be a big win. I'm I'm stun, in an stun is form. better than restraint. Yeah. It physically can't do anything yeah. like stunned. It essentially stops it. Um, and also any attacks against it are really bad. Like you get auto crits if it's stunned. Oh really? It's done, yeah. Being stunned is really bad. You just stand over it and keep it So Juto, don't worry, Tom. It's down I'm to you, what are you doing? Can I? <laughs> Arrive upon the scene. <laughs> You've got 50 feet. Can I... You're still in I their want, stance. I want to attack it, but I want to like, kind of go somewhere it can't see me. So like, try and climb up the back and, and like, attack the back of his head. Give me a quick intelligence check. You're dumb, you shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> Seven. Yeah, sure. I guess oh. intelligence is to see where there's a weak point. It, Something else, but yeah, you think that you can probably try and climb on its back um, and attack it from there. Yeah, so uh, you move up. Or me... no, nope. can... that's what you said you were doing. Like, just because you failed a roll, that's pretty metagamey if you're like, no, I'm gonna change my mind now. <laughs> I will do my first attack. Okay, uh, you actually can climb on its back because it's restrained. I'm not even gonna make you do an acrobatics or an air stance as flying. well, so you can just go. I'm well, kind of technical. When still. you step of the wind, you fly. It's yeah. It's until the end of that turn. But yeah, it's easy enough that you can just bounce, bounce, bounce. You get up on the back of its head, you plunge the Gwen down, down, you have advantage, it's restrained. <laughs> is that Christ, two sevens? Two seven. uh, 19. Seven. That is still just enough. Oh. The Gwen Dow's tip, you, you're well. worried that you almost don't penetrate through the scale, but then just mm, it manages to slip through. Auto crit? Uh, and I would like to stunning strike on that, please. Okay, yep. So how much damage first? <laughs> Nine normal and five radiant. Okay, so uh, 14 total. Okay, and then stunning strike. Uh, I, what con save. Con save, what's the DC? 16. Okay, it passes, 25. <laughs> Second attack. Does it not get disadvantage? Because it's not just... on, No, restraint is only when it gets penalties to attacks. It's, its stamina is no more affected by these. Yeah. Yeah. Natural 20. Oh. Critic, you double the dice, double, roll roll your Gwendal dice, double that. Oh! 
seven, Ooh. 14, uh, and then plus another seven. Yeah, oh, like, yeah, you plus your, your uh, damage is normal. So, so uh, 21, 21. And then the radiant? Uh, three radiant. Three well, it, does that double? 24, no, no, no. I've said this in the past. I and people, I would like to stunning strike people again. People don't like that. Yep, stunning strike. Do it. Spend those key points. Make it right. happen. Oh, Jesus, a 19. That's 30 on a con save. It's like this thing is just writhing muscle. Um, you think that, yeah, if you can strike the, white, or the right point, maybe, but this is a tough creature. This is a physically healthy, tough creature. Can I like look at it more and be like, hmm, is there anywhere that looks super squishy? Not really. Can I go for the eyes? Uh, you can try and get around to the front of its head, yeah? Mm, it's got blind sight, hasn't it? So it's still gonna be able to see. It did seem to pick you up. Yeah. Like when you and Reynard were hidden, it still seemed to know where you were. Senses are legendary. Um, do you want a flurry, or do you just want to do one unarmed attack for no key points? I will flurry. Okay, so you're gonna spend the key. So two unarmed strikes. So first unarmed strike. Yeah, you still got advantage. Oh, wait, I'm reading that wrong. No. <laughs> <laughs> that five looked like a natural. Fifteen. Fifteen's not enough. You kind of punch down or kick down, and the scale is. Incredibly tough. You hit though, you got seven. Kind. That'll hit, right? 17? No. No, because oh, the Gwandao has an extra plus two because it's magic. Uh, no, the, this time you bring like an axe kick down, <laughs> just kind of bounces off the, the thick blue scales. They're kind of a deep um, azure kind of blue as you're kind of moving around on its back. Um, you do notice, even though it's restrained, it's like, I know where you are, little creature. And it's like bringing its claws up to try and reach around to you. Can I keep, um, like, just keep moving? Just you can, that's swarming. basically your AC. You're like constantly trying to keep dodging out of its way. Um, at the end of your go, uh, it will tail attack you, however. That's going to be a 29. Doesn't hit. To hit. Doesn't hit. It's going to be 9, 16 damage. Okay. So this tail kind of. Whoosh, kind of whips up around the back and you try and dodge the blow, but it moves way faster than you expected for such a large creature. Uh, Elora, no, uh, Reynard, you need to give me a death saving throw, friend. So how does this work? So you roll a d20. <clears throat> okay. 10 plus. 10 plus is a success. It's a success, it's yeah. 11. Okay, so one success. You get three of those, you stabilize automatically. Sweet. You get now 20, it's two stables. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and, but they last. If you if you stabilize, you get healed, and then you go down again. They reset basically. Oh. So they don't they, they don't stick around. Is what I mean. Yes. Uh, so Reynard, that's your go. Uh, Cam, same thing for you, please. Yep. Thirteen. Save. One stabilize. Oh. Elora. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Can he still attack you while you're down? He could if he wanted to. What effect would that have? You, or that. Just Just you basically it counts you as a crit. If you get if you take a critical hit while you are unconscious, it counts as two, two death fails. saving throws. If you get three death saving throws, fuck, you're done. Oh fuck! I don't know what to do. But it seems that he is more concerned with the creature jumping around his back, stabbing him. Yeah, at no, the fair enough. That's a good that makes sense. <laughs> I get that reaction from a lot of people. <laughs> what, stop jumping and stabbing me on the back of the head. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so he's okay. desperately trying to think. She's like, shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm trying to save your lives! I can't, I fucking can't. You got. You can finish this thing. If you kill it, I can't. you can save him. Mm. I'm yeah. gonna attack because mm -hmm. I don't want to waste an entire elemental form. Do it, join without... me. Yeah, me. Let him breathe you in and just explode him from the inside. That's what air form does, right? <laughs> 21, breathe, 21, 21 hits, yeah, 21 hits, yeah. You I kind of get pummel it with this like, strong senses of air, you're kind of like these blasts. Um, don't forget you had advantage as well on those, so you can reroll re re that first oh, one. So what, yeah, reroll well, both. Because that's the first hit. See if, then. That, see if that one is a critical hit. See if that second attack is a critical hit, because you know you've hit with that one anyway. It's not. Now roll the first one and see if you would have hit with the first one. But that would still be two hits because I still get nineteen with them. With, with that both one. Of them. If if I use both of them, so that would be a twelve, right. which would be a twenty to hit. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. And then so the you, other you, one was a thirteen, yeah. so it was yeah. a twenty-one there you go. to hit. So you hit. So I hit twice. Oosh. Yeah, because you forgot That's you had great. the advantage. Uh, <laughs> Can't be helped. Sometimes the dice are unkind. Nine. Nine bludgeoning. points. Nine bludgeoning. It doesn't have any resistance to that. So. Oh fuck! Jesus. Eight. That was shit. 
Okay. Oh well. So you begin pummeling it with these blasts of air, and it's kind of grunting. <laughs> and you can tell that it's it's uh, growing angrier and angrier. It's going to tail attack you now um, for a nineteen. Yep. Um. What kind of damage is it? This is bl uh, bludgeoning damage, I believe. I am resistant. Perfect. So that's going to be thirteen. That is twenty. So you take ten. As this tail kind of passes through the form, but it still does enough to disrupt the, the primal energies keeping you in place. Um, that's two of its legendaries. And then uh, Spherias. I'm uh, coming, my friends! Can I move slightly round to its side so mm -hmm. that we're sort of spread out as well? Yeah, I've kind of got you there yeah, in the rough I, position. Yeah. yeah, you're kind of flanking it, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, on its oh, turn. Oh, big balance. Okay, yeah. the lightning crackle does return to its mouth, it but it's gonna try and <laughs> break free because it does not like the fact that you are hitting it easier. So, yeah. so, what's your spell save DC? 14. 14, and it's a strength saving throw, right? Yes, I believe. Three. <gasps> oh. 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 Wasted an action, like fuck. Jesus Christ. You <laughs> miserable cretins! I was once a ruler in Brasaris. I shall consume you! You're just gonna kick your butt first! But first he gets Don't put damage. that all on me! <laughs> yeah, it I'll has help. to be due to... Piercing, you can see these little thorns are just dinging into it. And it just seems to be enraging it in fury. Um, one thing it... Nope, that's when it attacks. And it's not attacked yet. There it gets its frightful presence. So Juto. Does that not count for its legendary? I'm not going to talk. No, <laughs> no it doesn't. No, legendary it's actions, sorry. it can only do certain things. It's a set. It's a set. Yeah. Basically, when it does its big, like, all of its attacks, its frightening presence is activated. When it attacks? When it does its full complement of attacks. I think it's got one ledge resist left. Yeah, ledge. Leg two. end. Oh, two. He's got, he's got four in total. No, he's got three, but he's used one. I would say he's used two. No. He said he used... He's, uh, legendary actions. Oh, actions. I was counting its actions. Cool, cool, cool! <laughs> what would you like to do? You're like on the back of this thing, like whoo, 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 spinning the guan down, down, stab, stab, kick, kick. And he's getting pretty angry. You can see he's getting pretty angry. You can see the crackle in its mouth has returned as well, but you reckon it's probably not going to try and break free of the bonds again. It's probably just going to try and kill you. It's, it's trying to get to you. It's like trying to throw you off its back. It's like bringing its claws to bear. How feasible does it look that I could get a potion in its mouth? A potion in its mouth. Ah, you oh, can make you can throw one. You could like almost get the vial and try and That's splash damage. Try and throw it into its mouth. Can I try and Okay. Can I do that and give one of these fuckers a potion as well? No. It would be an action. It'd be a ranged attack with the potion to try and throw it into its mouth. And that means you wouldn't be able to flurry, you wouldn't be able to wind out attack either. Because I have a vial of knockout drop. You can try it. Just... <laughs> it's got a big mouth. You hear a ghost. A ghost of Raina. Like, I'm sorry, it's a no, big I'm dragon. Strong. I'll stay quiet. You He's fucking bet a ghoster. Ghosting. Ghost boy. What what do you want to do? Uh can I um f go to Cam and give him a superior healing potion? Okay. Into his mouth. Okay. Uh, to do that, you I'm will throw one attack of opportunity from <laughs> you. Can in which case, oh, yeah. <laughs> can I do it in this order then? So can I limit point. break? No. Oh, you're going to use your I want to limit break, okay. which means no attacks of opportunity on me. Mm -hmm. uh, I can make a one unarmed attack mm -hmm. on Dude Boy. It's basically like a. It's, so um, she just gets off, punches it's, it's, it, and then. It's, <laughs> no, it's a Ryu's hurricane kick. It's like the. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> you can attack multiple creatures in a line with this move. It's oh basically. My God. Like, <laughs> and then move 20 feet as if. Yeah, flying. so yeah, you could do that. Yeah, you can absolutely. So you kind of. As you leap fly. up into the air and you kind of woof, fly forward. You strike it once as you pass, so you can give me an unarmed attack roll Does with advantage. advantage. One hit kill, please. Oh, it's good though. It's 25. 25 hits. Is it 25 hit? It does. Does it look damaged? Shut up. <laughs> you are down. Don't make me start hitting you while you're down. 12. 12 points. <laughs> so, this blow, like, you do, as you fly down, you smash into its jaw, and one of its fangs kind of goes, and blood kind of begins pooling in its mouth as it kind of roars, but you shoot past, you superhero landing into the gravel, big spray. You pop a potion out and then down into Cam's throat. What kind of potion is it? Superior. Superior. 
If I remember, superior is superior. Let me check because I think I might have got one of these wrong. Hey, I think I did it less than It's twenty d twenties, I think. Shut up. Because if blood conducts electricity, I think you might have made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> do I um? Eight d four. Do I still have enough movement to like flap away? No. No. So well, like fifteen feet. I just don't really want to be stood next to. Too late. Everyone. They smell cool. like fifteen feet. They smell a bit dead. I'm gonna twist the wings they a bit. They smell so. a bit. I'm yeah. gonna move like fifteen feet away. Uh, Cam Buckland, you get twenty-seven hit points back. Whoa! Dang. Thank you. He's the healer. Yeah. At the end of Juto's go, healer with no spell slots. He hits you with his tail. Twenty-five. Does not hit. Just ignore you. I know what your AC <laughs> roughly is. That's going to be uh, 14 points of damage. Wham! Reynard, death saving throw, please. That's a success. So, two successes. Don't need to do anything to him. Yeah, just leave him. Uh, was that his turn, by the way, when he did that? No, that was, no, a, that was a, a reaction. Yeah. It's his legendary action. Um, that's the end of Reynard's go. At the end of Reynard's go, he's going to tail attack Juto again. That's 21. Okay. He gets three per turn, like per round, combat oh round. Oh god, okay. Uh, six, that's gonna be uh, 13 bludgeoning. <laughs> um, then it goes to Cam. Uh, I'm going to action put a greater healing potion in Raynor's mouth. Greater healing potion is 44. It's like a chain of potions. Good. <laughs> oh, uh, too late. Eight. Uh, 12 hit points to Raynard. Uh, okay, so I'm back uh, up as normal. You're at 12. Hellish Rebuke. You can do Hellish Rebuke because it's just gonna take a kind DM. Right. Uh, I'm also then. It's actually, it beats your DC, so it's only gonna take half damage. But away. it's a deck saving throw, isn't he restrained? He does have disadvantage. I think he automatically fails them, actually. Oh, it has disadvantage, so it still passes. 15. <laughs> Three to ten, halved. <laughs> you are making it angrier. Me, all of you, by being alive. Yeah. Sorry. It's like <laughs> sorry, I exist. Your ten, eighteen. So half nine. Comes. You can see now the flames kind of lick its snout, like scalding a few of its scales on its face. Um, as my continued action. Yes. I've healed him. That's an action. Run my 30 away from these two to spread out okay. as much as possible. Yep, so you're not, if it was to target, uh, so the you move away from them, but you were next to so Ronnie, Juto, and Reynard are next to each other, but you have now moved away. So, yeah, like like, that. you, you, that's further than away you are, but yeah, give it as a rough approximation. Uh, yeah. Yep. And the lore is I'm on a, the other I'm enough side of a distance for I know the lightning arc. Won't hit you. Yep. I'm okay. Also, I am. So oh. that's your action, your move, you have a bonus, bonus action. I would like to spiritual weapon just to get something in there. I thought you might. What Are you something at a high level or just level one? I don't have any. Uh, level three. Sure. I mean, it, it's more damage. It's 3d8 damage. Now, yeah, so. level three. So okay. I will. What does it look like? It's an actual one. Um, it looks like a scimitar. Scimitar. So you a big scimitar like. on but whoosh, it just whiffs through the air. It um, whiffs. You summon it through into the being. Fucking whiffy. Um, okay. Uh, Elora. That's my spiritual weapon. I am going to attack it. It's still with advantage. Uh, yes. Yep. Oh, you would have had advantage on the spiritual weapon. Oh. Shall I wait? 13 plus 5. No. 18. That's just, just not. Well, just spell attack bonus. Spell attack bonus, yeah. Uh, 23 then. 29 hits. <laughs> Please, please get your maths right. <laughs> please, that's, please that's get why your sometimes, maths right. yeah, like it does help in combat if you have the right bonus. Eight. Wait, spell attack Seven. bonus. Do I get those on like Seven. snaring spike and things no. like that? Probably no, not. No, no, your ranger. Your ranger. Like, so that's fifteen twenty-two. 20. Yeah, so like I have a couple of spells, 22. but I can't use them because I'm not a spellcaster. Twenty. I, I, okay. I mean, I can't use the bonus. Uh, yeah, so the spiritual weapon actually kind of cuts through and causes a long burning gash along the side of its face. You are going to regret that. I regret everything about this. Natural 20. Damn! And uh, that's an 18, so that'll so hit. So do the natural so. 21st, double the dice. 
But you get advantage on all of it, so... I had well, two attacks, yeah. so that was both attacks. Well, you can see if you, you get a crit on the second one. So you get a second one. crit. Ooh, no. <laughs> that was loud, actually. I don't know why <laughs> I'm going to so loud. Six, oh. so that's 12, plus 10. 22. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 27 on the first. Whoa. Damn. Here we go, guys! Just before we get 11, all killed by a lightning. Shut up! 16 on the second one. Oh okay. my god. You can see that that last kind of like, these powerful blasts, you hear the dragon's ribs begin to snap and crack, and it kind of lurches painfully. Um, legendary it will use its final legendary action to... Run away. I really annoyed it. Right? You did annoy it, but it's smarter than just, it's not an animal. It's pissed. Juto, tell me how many hit points you're on. No. Yes. Is that something a DM can do? Yes. How damaged do you? Um, Dragon can tell how injured you are. I tell you how injured it is, but it's also... I have 27 hit points left. Okay, but you're lower than that, and I think you're pretty I've much at 27. So it kind of like looking around, snapping around, it would sense that Reynard is the weakest, and it wants to limit how many things are attacking it. So it's going to tail attack Reynard. Let it try. 27? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's going to be 17 points. Down again. So you down again. He get knocked down, so but he gets up again. Saves, I believe, reset. And then he gets knocked down okay. again. So can I just keep, if I get healed and then go down again, he'll go down yeah. again. Yeah. Again. It's like defibbing. Mm -hmm. I can just keep doing it. It does, yes. Um, but now it is the dragon's go. That was its legendary action. It already has its breath weapon back. Wait, wait, wait. It takes two damage. <laughs> yeah. It's dead. It's dead. <laughs> that is very relevant, but it is not dead. What? Uh, it is going to... Uh, go home? Go away. Go to Ikea. It's pretty Can mad. I like pull its tail a little bit? This way! It's pretty <laughs> mad. It's going to... It's going to unleash a flurry of attacks. It's not going to use its lightning breath, which means... Cam, mm. Elora, and Juto must make wisdom saving throws. Is it for fear? It is Because I'm immune to fear if I'm fighting alongside a female ally because uh, of my belt. Your belt, yep. Yeah. So oh. you're pretty immune. Woo! Sisters! Doing it for ourselves! 28. 28. Wow. See how Juto does? Cam is very well. Ah. 21. You're all, you're like, we've got this, we can do this, we can finish it. And so, despite this kind of aura of fear that emanates from it, you sense that oh. you, uh, this this dragon... Um, <sighs> we all hold hands and sing Kumbaya. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I can't sing, I'm an air elemental. It looks around and it snarls and you can see this thing is breathing heavy. It plunges one claw into Reynard, two death saving throws <gasps> automatically. No. Well, we'll oh. see if it hits, <laughs> it does. Uh, and then it basically places its like jaws, like it's basically ready to kill Reynard. It has Reynard in its jaws. Um, <sighs> if you wish this human to live, Release me from these bombs, or he will die with me. And he's got Reynard in its mouth. I mean, he can do a strength saving throw if he wants to get out. He can, but he knows that if he, it's so injured, the, if the, you can see that this thing is currently fearing for its life. Everyone stand down. Stand down, let I it mean, go. No. It's Reynard. <laughs> you, human, I cut talk. these ropes. I'm gonna send my spiritual weapon. You cut the dragon free? Why? It's gonna do it anyway. Ew. You kill him, I kill you. You kill me, I swallow him whole. So we'll cut him out again? He will be dead. We have cures for that. <laughs> do you wish to test me, Tiefling? I am ready to gamble if you are. I've already died once, and here I stand. <sighs> Just holding him in his mouth. Just go. You cut the bonds? I will release him a mile away from here, back towards settlement. Don't you drop him. And it flies up and you can see it's like really weakly flying and it just takes off into the air. Um, bronze griffin on me. You do? Can I try and... Nah. Uh, doesn't work. He needs to have a long rest basically to recover. Uh, Reynard, mm -hmm. the only problem is, is you still need to make death saving throws for me, friend. Oh, shit, so he's going to die regardless. 
need you to roll. Every six seconds. I need you to roll a d20. And if it's lower than a 10? Just That's I, it. Yeah. roll a d20 until I tell you to stop rolling a d20. Because it's He's already mark. got two death savings. Yes. Can we do, I am very aware. do anything to... The dragon takes off. Just Nobody that. said that they were stopping it. Like, it's currently, what, like 200 feet in the air? It's a, a, it's a pass. It's a pass? It's a pass. It's a pass. Keep going. It's a pass. Roll, not, roll again, please. Natural 20! <laughs> <20. laughs> oh, God! Feel yourself. You're not conscious. You are not conscious. But you are stabilized. <laughs> yeah, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming you trail the dragon. Please, yes. Are you trying to keep up with it, or are you just gonna go at the best pace you can? Well, we don't. We can't go as fast. I'm as gonna it. fly. I'm mangoes. gonna fly. Do you have enough key points to go a mile? I have fly in my dash loot. Okay, so you cast fly. I believe fly is only sixty feet though, so you will trail behind it a little bit. Yeah, well, I'm trying my best. Holy fuck! You follow it, and you see that it's heading in the direction of Hallow. Um, it flies, and about a mile, it does actually, it kind of like drops down, <laughs> spits Reynard out onto the ground, and you can see, like, it's too far away to do anything. You can see it's raising its claw. It kind of leans down, and you're kind of vaguely, you're not quite conscious, Reynard, but you do just hear a, mm, dragons keep their word. And then it flies away. I'm gonna fly immediately as fast as I can to okay. Reynard. The dragon takes off. The dragon takes off away from the winter spire. It actually see it kind of turns and then goes in the opposite direction. Okay. Off into the frozen north, basically. It heads deeper into the troubled lands. Um, I'm gonna fly as fast as possible to Reynard. You get to Reynard. Um, what what are you doing? Uh, regular healing get potion. Those. Regular healing yeah. potion. Actually, can I? Have you mark the other ones off as well. By the way? Yes. I'm an air elemental, I can't grab Cam and drag him with me. I'm gonna wait for Sphera to catch up. Okay. And then ask him to put me on his shoulders. Five hit points. All right. Sphera comes to you. <laughs> Pick me up, put. He quick picks you up. He's like, my little friend, we uh, gotta go. On. No, my friend Cam. You've defeated the a dragon. Put my hand on his forehead. <laughs> Reynard is dead. We're dying. Oh. We need to save him. I will carry you, my friend. Run me this way. I'm still an air elemental, so I can go 90 foot. Yeah, you as I As I kind of pour this in his mouth, I'm just going to be like, BREATHE, YOU IDIOT! <laughs> yeah, you <gasps> Well, I'm kind of just like laying there, just like... More. A little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to slap you. <laughs> not, not hard enough to knock him down again, but just... <laughs> Insecure. Just I cannot believe you rolled that 20. Oh. Oh. You so the fact that you were like one tonight. and then a natural 20 to get both back, that's pretty I crazy. Because be like you basically, in a, in a mile, <laughs> I was just going to keep you rolling until you either passed or you failed. It was like, oh. if you roll one fail, you're done. Yeah. If you roll three successes, you survive. <laughs> so against you. It was, it was, the odds were so bad. Well, I mean, my next roll was a <laughs> three. Yeah, that, that you would have been dead. Dead. Holy oh, shit. Mark, um, Jesus. It Christ. takes you a bit Don't of time. do that to me. But not long. To catch up. I'm just gonna grab him and hold him and just like <laughs> back, yeah. back please. This is Lady Amarillith as well. Oh, oh have to Wait. Be back. <laughs> I'm just gonna hug him. Okay. Oh. Do you to hug oh. Please. Oh. Sorry. Please, oh. Ren. You're on my you're on my <laughs> microphone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank uh, you. Yeah, it takes you a while. Allura comes, Allura catches up pretty quickly. I'm just gonna keep calling you an idiot. Do you come out of elemental form or you stay? Yeah, here? I come out and I'm gonna cast oh. cure wounds at fourth level on Reynard. Okay. You never know when Knolls are around the corner waiting to pick you up, so... I still have stuff in the tank. Huh? I still have stuff in the yeah, tank. You, how many key points you got left? Just out of interest. Five. Wow, so it really burnt through them, though. But I was being careful. Yeah, no, it was good. You had enough left to go into a stance and do some damage yeah. if you needed to, and... Yeah. Because oh, I stopped doing crush. the stunning... I think that's the scariest, all th the lowest all three of you have ever been, though, because even Elora was pretty I low. I healed myself the... <coughs> Oh, you like, did, after the lightning breath, didn't I got you? really yeah. lucky on my rolls and my healing. Yeah. Sphair is fucking perky with a level six Well, heal. he's not at full strength, but he's pretty good. He did good. get a few hits, though. Yeah. Does True. Oh, yeah. And he grappled it for a turn. No. You didn't need it. Sphere kind right? of like drops I'm just you down. Wondering if everyone's done. Yeah. And then he kind of just sits about to see me. and seems to kind of draw into himself a little bit. He's just, I can't believe it. And he's just like, oh. and he just yeah. seems completely sort of disorientated. And rubs Reynard and grab him. He's like, don't you ever do that again? Oh. Don't you ever get taken by a dragon ever again? Everything hurts, Cam. <laughs> Sorry, I drop him oh. like a bit too hard. Just gonna make a note on the dragon. 
next uh, uh, live. Yeah, we're gonna save. Yeah, we're gonna save again. Did. Holy crap. We survived. Shit. That's what's important, guys. Yeah, we should've. He would've killed... Um, actually, no. He would've killed right now. One thing I will tell you right now is... It's lightning breath not regenerating was a big factor in that. That mm -hmm. could have come back every turn and dealt like fifty we could have damage. Been dead, yeah. dead. It could have, it even if it was just hitting one person, it would just be like blah blah blah. Well, it's a good I mean, thing that like, like, I was really scared yeah. that it was going to take out all three of you with lightning, and I'd just be. It like, almost did, <laughs> but then it was just like if the the thing it was thinking is if it could scare you off because it doesn't know that you're immune to fear and everything else. Like if it could scare you off, that would let it basically get away. Mm. But instead, it just had to make a bargain with Raynard. So uh, Raynard's life. So. Right, um, yeah, you are uh, you you are reunited. I go up to there, uh, put a little hand <gasps> on his kneecap. He looks me. over. He looks battered. He looks kind of malnourished as well. Like he's not properly eaten in like days. Um, and he just like there's like almost like a far off look in his eyes. Um, he just kind of like looks down. He's like, the dragon. What happened? It's, it flew away. You almost killed it. We did almost kill it, but it almost killed Reynard, so... It came down from the clouds. It, it scorched our homes with the lightning, and it uh, tore into many of the other fighters before we had a chance to fight back. We're real sorry, pal. I wish we could have come sooner. How? The... I know. I know. But he's in the... He's in the uppy place now. He has gone to Valhalla that's, now. That's yes. it, yeah. He died, he died protecting you. He did. And he died a hero. He did. That... And he gets... And then this anger seems to well inside of him. He's just like, That cloud giant! The, the queen, the princess! She sent that creature! What kind of giant aligns herself with our enemy? Ah. This is why we came. To seek the aid of the giants, because we are going to face them. My people refused her a month or so ago. She came telling us to serve her, to bend the knee. But frost giants do not serve her, so we refused. She left, saying we would regret her our decision. And then the dragon came a few, perhaps a week, days, I, I don't know. It kept me alive for some reason, I'm not sure. You don't store diamonds, do you, as giants? Diamonds? Uh, Treasury? We have... Uh, the, the, our home had gold, the Thane had treasures. Take them! No, you should use them! I'm just saying, there's a potential I could raise how? Uh, if I had a diamond. Worth. No, we don't have gemstones. We have gold, uh, minerals, ivory. Maybe we can bring him back. Uh, to Talos Val. Uh, I will carry him. Yes. How long ago was it that he passed? When the dragon first came, I, I don't know when that was. It's become a blur. Sometimes I, it was as if I died, but I haven't. I don't know. Is there anyone else you wish to save? I can only save two. The Thane, if you can return him. Can you carry both? <laughs> no, no. I think maybe the Thane. Now. It is selfish of me to think, but if the thing is brought back, the line of the giants ends with me. Perhaps if you bring back Siga, she and I, perhaps, to keep our people alive. I get it. I get the details. I know that is selfish of me, but I must think of my people. You've got to rebuild. And that's there are other know. giants in other lands, but the more of us there are, the better. That's fair enough. Um, we have a way of transporting via Allura and trees. I don't know oh. if you'll fit through. What do you think? It's not going to fit. Five foot, like, a huge creature would not you fit through. If you go to the Winter Spire. I know then, your friend, the elven boy. You will be welcome there. Maybe we can go scout ahead and tell them what's happened. You wouldn't know, at least his teleport circle could yeah. take Sferia. Because yeah. that's an area, that's doesn't it? Thinking. It's like a, a it ten foot radius. It could take all of us. Maybe we can all go to the Winter Spire and, and do it that way. I will go and carry their bodies. Come! If there is anything in our home that will aid you, take it. Yes. Uh, if the Thane has collected many treasures over the years. If they will help you kill this, this imposter queen of the giants, Lord Hecaton would never have stood for this. So long as that's not disrespectful to your clan. I give it to you freely. 
You, kill, you have taken revenge for my clan. It is only fitting you take spoils. Then we will humbly accept. I'll, I'll take Any, all the treasures and then <laughs> divvy them out. Anything is useful. We. It we is an eclectic strength. collection. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Random table. It's the dragon killer blade. Mm. No, no, that's gone. <laughs> you killed that. <sighs> okay. okay. I merged it to make a shit nimbus. <laughs> And then you sold you, that again. Yeah. <laughs> you spat that off a wall. Let's not dwell on the past, guys. It's all about the future. <laughs> While this is going on, I'm just fussing over Reynard. Just okay. like, you know, trying to clean him up and like, you know. Sveria kind of stands up and is like, if, let me walk ahead. I must collect my thoughts a little before I return home. We'll be waiting here. No, come. You must come. You must we'll, take we'll this coming. Come with me. But let me walk ahead a little. Well, you're going to have to. You've got big legs. Yeah, he's, his <coughs> stride is naturally larger anyway, so he kind of outdistances you, but he seems to go into a quiet contemplation and uh, seems to think deeply. But yeah, the four of you follow him back. If there's anything you guys want to talk about now, now is the time. Friends, the things we take away from this ghoulish battle and Reynard almost dying is a thing that the mystic used to always tell me, which was, whatever doesn't kill you, really fucking hurts and has long-term damage. <laughs> However, <laughs> we can live on. I nod and we keep walking. Was okay. that meant to be an inspiration? Yeah. I don't understand the lesson in his words. I don't think he understands either. Yeah. It's fine. Just just nod, smile, and let him get on. Reynard, stop overexerting yourself. Do you want to just lean on me? Chuto, come closer. <laughs> what is wrong? Cl closer. Do you need water? Cl closer. Aid? Closer. You do like me. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are going to narrow, and then I'm just going to walk ahead. Just, you know. In that case, I'm going to stumble on my own. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're actually kind of doing just as well as everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> He's just, right, that's that's playing, out just yeah. playing out to it. <laughs> He's getting all the Juto attention, that's why. Oh. Oh, he died. He almost died. He almost he died. Did, he did die. It's the first time Juto's seen that. He's anymore. milking it. He's milking it. And that's what I was wondering, like, when you're at super close to your maximum HP, or, you know, close to death, do you, are there any negative effects, or is it you just carry on as normal until DM rules? What's that? Is in like your oh, so I'm probably. like super close. Well, not super close. I'm you know like a th two thirds of the way through my health. Does mm -hmm. that actually have any physical effect on me? Am I not super... really? It's just easier to down you again, and then there's that, always that threat of if you get like most creatures, especially at your level now, they have multiple attacks. If a yeah. creature was determined, like let's say you did something to enrage that dragon, like you killed its baby or something like that, yeah. that dragon would probably knock you down again and then go like, hmm, motherfucker. <laughs> and it would just hit you twice and then that's it, you're done. Like yeah. two, that's four death saving throws, you're, or even three, you know, it, it, that's kind of the, uh, the threat of being so low is you just go down again. Well, that's and what I mean, it's, like, it's if something hits you when you're down, that's the threat. There's yeah. a, there is a big thing in the D&D thing of like, people don't think you should use healing until someone should go down because it's better that you just go down and then come back up again rather than keeping yourself topped up. I disagree because I think that that threat of taking extra hits when you're down is too high. Well, I mean, yeah. Like, honestly, like, if I had hit you, there's also the problem of if you're, if I ever do half of your maximum HP into the negatives or like your... I can't remember exactly how it works, but basically if you take too much damage when you're at zero, mm. you just die outright. Uh, okay. Like if I ever deal enough damage to like knock you to zero and then like super low, then some. you're just done. Well, I just yeah. mean like, say I've got 96 HP. Mm -hmm. I'm not bragging, but I do. 104. Okay. 70! <laughs> if I was at 95, mm -hmm. am I like just as normal? Don't think of hit points always or necessarily always as physical injuries. I know mm. I describe it a lot that way, but hit points can also reflect like you running out of stamina as you're dodging around, you know. Hit points is just a measure, it's like a very abstract game mechanic. Okay. It can represent you like running out of stamina or running out of luck, like your luck is physically running out as you narrowly avoid these blows and yeah. things like that. Okay, no, that's fair um, enough. In that case, so being low on it isn't gonna yeah. necessarily affect you in that way. 
You probably look pretty gnarly though. Yeah. yeah. You can get more stuff. sweet tips like that from Shut Tabletop up. Weekly. Tabletop on Weekly. YouTube. Except that I get loads on Instant death. Massive damage can kill you instantly. When damage reduces you to zero hit points and there is damage remaining, you die if the remaining damage equals or exceeds your hit point maximum. So you've got 96, so right? Be negative Let's say you took 200 points of damage. I am dead, so. <laughs> You're done. Like if I were to fall to my death, yeah. for example. It is possible, yeah. right, for a okay. certain creature. Uh, yeah, a critical hit from like super something super powerful, disintegrate spell or something like that. If you've got fifty hit points, you can just be like play. Yeah, dead. like in. Um, yeah. But also that again, thing that's the other threat of being super low. Simple. Like, let's say you you've got ninety six hit points, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say you run four. I do hundred points of damage to you. Kills you outright because I've done ninety six points of damage into your negatives. Well, I mean, if you did fifty, that would have done it. I think. Yeah, but you. The thing is, is, that would just put you on zeros because um, it's your maximum hit points, not half your maximum hit point. So. Okay. But anyway, um, enough of. Mechanical. This is exactly what we talk about on the way back to Sphera's camp. Yeah. yeah that's exactly so mechanically, when you're at full <laughs> HP, uh, you guys make Woo! it back to the Frost Giant camp, and uh, you see Sphera is basically, he's kind of wrapping up a body in sort of like furs and things like that. He's tying it with ropes and he's kind of gently picking it up. And then also he has like Howl across his shoulders, like his immense strength. Can I maybe carry Howl? Uh, do you go up and offer? Can I offer him to? He's, he looks down and he recognizes the belt that you're wearing and he kind of... Oh yeah, it's a giant. It's, it's a frost heavy giant still, belt. but yeah, yeah, yeah. you can carry Howl as is. Yeah. Um, and you, you know, it is a dead body. Give me a nature check actually, because you're pretty... Can I see, yeah, how long I, I want to know dead. how long it's been dead. That's what I figured. Because... It. Ah no, that's rubbish. He... Uh, I'll use luck. Okay. Why not? That's just the same wow, the same roll. Oh Those dice don't like you. Use new dice. Yeah. They were fine earlier. I got no. that twenty. Run out of charge. These ones are great. So one it's charge. not going to be super high, is it? Three. No. It's difficult to tell. <laughs> it's so it cold. Does. It's semi kind of preserved. There's not as much of a rot. It's not like it's kind of been sort of <coughs> like. Can I make an assessment based can on I, the fact Can that I bring I'm it to Cam? Yeah, given yeah. that he's yeah. got to yeah, do this. Make a. Give me a medicine check. Because I wouldn't necessarily know what his spell involves. Nine. Difficult to say, like yes. maybe about a week. It's getting, it's getting close to the time yeah. we need to get him back soon. It's in 10 days for Ray's day. Yeah, so, you mean you know you can just transport via plant, so it's not too much of a risk. But we need well, to get a winter winter fire. Fire. But that only takes a couple of hours, though, doesn't it? It takes like a, it doesn't it's a day take... round trip. Yeah, so, so we are technically just doing so you're our walk back trip. to the winter spire, yeah. We don't have an alternative yeah, method. Okay. So. Um, that fits Sphera. Right? Sphera points to a large main tent, and you can see it's decorated with large bones, kind of like almost like mammoth tusks or whale bones, you're not quite sure. Some of them might even be dragon bones. Um, some of them look like they've been smashed. Um, he points to it. Inside, hanging above uh, the Thane's chair, the throne, you will find a spear, and that will unlock his chest. Inside, there is gold, and uh, that is yours. I do a respectful bow. Like nods his head. Uh, walk nods in. his head to all of you. Uh, I do not know this man, but he fought with you, and he died fighting the dragon. And he like looks at you, and he gives like a firm sort of like, like really warriors kind of thing. And this man is giant. He is like 15 foot tall, blue skin, white hair. Um, Felix probably told you about giants. Well, he they told are you about greater favored enemies. Yeah, so. you know <laughs> you, all about them. You know about them. Uh, Frost giants. You probably would have learned that they are savage barbarians that like literally run around taking what they want, killing things for sport, <laughs> and are general huge problems to people living in areas where they are. And that's why I have an asbo. No. <laughs> this is the... But, like, I saw how he was fighting the dragon and yeah. how these the others are like retreating him. Yeah, like, yeah. obviously, maybe not everything you learned is as it was, but he kind of just gives you a solid nod. Case, Reynard, Sferia, close friend. Sferia, Reynard, close friend. I'll return the same, because I guess I'd know what that sort of salute was in a way, and I'd bow to him and I guess say thank you, but in giant. You like. His eyes kind of go wide, and in Giant he replies like, What is your full name? Well, in Giant, I'll say, <laughs> I'm sure it's different in Giant. It's uh, Reynard Farrowhorn. Uh, he kind of nods his head and he's like, It was an honor to fight alongside you, Farrowhorn's son. Thank you for your assistance as well. What's his name? Sveria. Sveria, son. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the bad. last name, uh, you're, you are son of Ferrohorn, yes? Oh. We don't yeah. know your last name, Sferrohorn. Uh, I do not have one anymore. You know I was exiled uh, 
before. I have not. I had not earned my name before the dragon attacked. I think you've probably earned it now. Perhaps I can forge a new one with Sigur. Dragon killer. No. That was. We did not kill it. And dragon blood. That was you. Perhaps. Dragon. He like puts a big hand over your head. Go. I'll get the spear now. <laughs> well, all of you should take it. It is your spoils. Let's go, team. Okay. Okay. We can all touch the spear. Uh, inside the tent, there is an enormous throne for a giant, and you can see that there are huge pelts, dire wolves, woolly mammoth pelts. Um, you can see like uh, like hides, like thick hides of some sort of scaled beast. It looks quite ancient. Um, upon which is a very crudely drawn map with giant runes. Um, uh, the runes seem to read out like the you know sort of like frost giant lands or something like that, and yeah. it mainly encapsulates the very tip of the northern continent. Um, and hanging above this throne is a enormous, it's for a giant, it's massive, this bone spear. Um, and it's, uh, it's almost like a harpoon almost. It's kind of got like the harpooned hook end, but it's all made from bone. Um, and engraved on it, completely covering the bone is giant runes. And then it's been wrapped with a thick hide in the middle as like a, 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 as a grip. Um, and it just kind of hangs up there. Okay, maybe uh, Laura gets that. Hmm. Put the hell down. Well, I figured it out, side chair. So you kind of climb up on the throne, and then you're like, Ugh! you pull down the spear. Um, as you kind of bring it down, you do get the sense that this is magical, this harpoon, um, and probably can shrink resize. It will probably size. shrink once you attune to it. Oh. Um, oh, but you also see that there is a large, behind the throne, there is a large stone, like, chest of sorts. It's kind of like an engraved block of stone, which has got, uh, like, a, a lid. Um, but it's locked with these thick kind of brass uh, like clamps. But on the tip is basically what looks like an <coughs> insert where the spear tip, the, the harpoon tip goes in. Uh, so you pop it in there and you hear sort of like, like there's a faint glow as runes kind of emanate from the brass and then they kind of unlock. Um, you lift up the lid. Uh, inside there is 2,000 golds worth in assorted coins. Some of it in platinum, some of it in silver, some of it in copper, some of it in gold. Um, there is a, uh, a, you think it might be a dragon's horn or a dragon's tooth or something like that inlaid with gold and runes. It's probably worth about 500 gold. Um, and there is also a pair of human-sized braces. They very much look like, um, a little bit like Ivor Skald in that they're like thick leather with fur underneath them and like, you know, g giant like runes and things like that written all over did them. Did we hear about these braces? Oh, did you? I think... Did we not hear that there was multiple parts to the Maybe. belt bracers thing? Could be. I feel, Can yeah, I make maybe. an intelligence check and see? I mean, I marked you don't rem remember. Oh. <laughs> That's why I'm saying, like, maybe. He looked in the dungeon. I think, I think we did, but I okay. I feel like we yeah. um, but... That's cool. There's a whole um, set. <laughs> there's a whole set. Uh, I will say, what was the, they the don't match horn. exactly. It's made in a okay. similar style, right? Um, Can I ask, ask Sperrier if he knows what they... They are. He just shakes his head. No, oh, they are the Thane's treasures. Uh, kept secret from the rest of us giants. They look like they fit you, Laura. Um, well, they might not. Do any of you need some extra help? I don't know what they do, but... Can oh. I see if I, I... Actually, if we're going back to the Winter Spire, at least you probably knows. Yeah, he can assess them. He could cast the Identify spell. Yes. Let's just keep so them on us So let's just keep now. them on us and then go... Who can carry all this, this coin? Oh, I put it in Your my... new bag of holding that's actually usable now. <laughs> mm. Oh, it got yeah, emptied, it ever emptied and given back to us. Mm -hmm. Nice. Us? Just remembered I've still carrying this the... heavy ass armor as well. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. that can go in the bag of holding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you do some tidying in you've got the house maintenance. Right? You bring up yeah. the inventory yeah. menu I'll, I'll and you drag everything into the new bag. Sort by weight. So I've got 1,000. Oh, no, we're going to get rid of these steel boots. You have to put it into your left hand and your right hand first. Yeah. <laughs> and the hand swap over hockey wise. It's a dragon. Tooth. Uh, a gold inlaid dragon horn or dragon tooth. Worth about 500 gold. And now's a great time for a break. Mm -hmm. Man. Loot! So, uh, we will return after this break. In which you will see a fan Fan art video! Whoop, whoop. Thank fan you very much for all of your fan art. We have tried to put as much as we can in there, so we really hope you enjoy it. Also. If any mods are in chat, could you grab the link to the High Rollers survey on our Twitter? It doesn't and put work. Put it into Moobot. It doesn't People work. have been saying oh, that it uh, it's kind of expired. Oh, it's kind of expired. Oh, oh, okay. Well, well, that's fine then. I but just, we did we did get a lot of responses. I, I, yeah. So thank you, thank, thank you. you to anybody I who did that fill that out. 
because it's super helpful for us for future merch, so etc. Cool. Thank well, we're going to take a break. Enjoy. Enjoy. And we'll see bye. you in five to ten minutes. Bye bye bye. bye. Be bye. back soon. Be back real soon.
noise. Live! Oh. Live now! Tom's making a really weird noise. Yeah, because you look at him, he's, he's like, he's <laughs> short. I, did him, I did him a heckin' spook. Yeah. Yeah. Nina said like that this. yesterday in the street. Yeah. Just, someone went past her really yeah. fast and she went, oh, they did me a heckin' spook. I was like, did you literally yeah. just say that? I think you need to understand something about me and Nina. That's how we talk at oh, home. I know. We use terms oh. like heckin' spook, papa. Good as boy. uh, Good boys, yeah. Long boys. <laughs> well, I think you should boys. know that on the break, Tom said the words, I am shooketh. I am shooketh. Proper shooketh. After well, that. he welcome is. Welcome back. Woke. No. <laughs> She's trying, Stop trying to be young. Crying. You're so young and good. That's it. How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> Steve I Buscemi am so meme. Woke. You just need a skateboard and you're basically Steve Buscemi. Oh. Oh my goodness. So Make like tiny lit. eyes. Like, what is How that? How are you doing, kids? fellow children? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed the you fan art video. That. Make yeah. sure you do more so we can include it. If we want to we yeah. get them weekly. Yeah. We want to yeah. get them weekly. I think we're going to try to either show them, sh maybe show past ones. I think we're show, just going to, like, if we don't have ones. enough to make a new one, we'll just show last week's one or something yeah. like that. So Because we do love it and, yeah. I don't. Thank you. Especially <laughs> for, there we go. <laughs> Camping too. Yeah. And uh, there we go. So we're back now. Nobody knows this. You, let's skip ahead a little bit to you arriving at the winter spire. Okay, for the sake of Oh, and Lee, she's gonna be the so The one mad. thing to do is, Reynard, Juto, and Delora, why don't you make an intelligence check? Although, except Reynard, because he was unconscious at the time. I'm already in Natural 20! <laughs> Even though I'm the one who gave him the potion. Yeah, but... You didn't notice you how were, I died. Yeah, you didn't notice like when he went down. The one one thing you do remember, Laura, although you were kind of, you know, very panicked about Reynard at the time, it does kind of dawn on you that Cam, you've seen him, you know, when he's been knocked unconscious before, this kind of positive energy, this radiant light kind of, you know, brings him back to life. Would I have, didn't happen this time. Would I have noticed, because you said that we noticed the glow about Morella, would yeah. I have noticed that yeah. glow and would I, with that yeah, yeah, I mean, piece I think together, what's now, happened? You, I think you wouldn't necessarily know about, yeah, it A seems to be bit? that, yeah, I think whatever you would realistically make the connection, but without knowing the exact nature of a lightborn and what happened, you can probably make the assumption. Yeah, um, also because you've seen him do the spell and know that a sacrifice has to be made. Yeah, yeah probably would make and sense. She seemed pretty all together. So, Not yeah, like she, definitely did, she, seemed, she didn't seem to be missing anything, so. I won't say anything to him for now, okay. just because things that we're doing are well, more important and time sensitive, but like, I will, it's in my mind. It takes you half day, you return to the winter spire. Mm -hmm. You once again see the clear ice tower rising up on the horizon, uh, the elves are patrolling the walls, but you can see that there is an alarmed presence. Um, and when you arrive, some of the guards are like, Lady Galanavel, the rest of you, some of our scouts have reported that there is a, a dragon in the area. You need to get inside. What? No. <laughs> really? Yes. Incredible. Your scouts are amazing. <laughs> Do any of us have like visible scratches or anything? <laughs> I say so at the yeah. time, but look a bit crispy. They're kind of well. The lightning is more like it doesn't it's really crispy. Lightning burns. Yeah, it yeah. Does, we take yeah. a big we take a big whack. Yeah, I suppose I like your clothing and stuff chest. would be scorched because healing probably would have healed flesh. And brand new things. clothes. Uh, yeah. They're like, oh, have you encountered it already? No. Where is it? Yes, we fought. We fought it. <laughs> you can say we fought the fucking. Yeah, I was going to. You can say that. That's nothing. That's fairly cam. Yeah. That's pretty cam. Um, uh, <laughs> It's like, get inside. Obviously, we can try and bring some, some uh, medics and things like that if, if you need them. I just want to see the Lee Street, please. All right, we'll go and fetch him immediately. Um, they, uh, they the Frost Giant's coming with us. They look up and they're like, I mean, we we know Sferi. He, he came... He's our mate. Yes. Yeah, he's um, He won't fit inside the spire. Uh, well, not easily. Can you feed him? Uh, take him somewhere sheltered? Yes, uh, um, yes, we'll find somewhere. We, we'll find some way to provide some shelter, if nothing else. Uh, he's also got a deceased one with him, if that could be yeah, put. Like carrying it, it's like, and again, we, there's no, we'll find something. It, Maybe actually somewhere very cold for that one. Like outside? It's very, it's like, it is fine, Kim, I can wait outside. He just kind of looks around, places the body of this, this frustrated woman that he's been carrying sort of down by the stables and he just kind of sits on the ground. Um, I'll need to rest overnight in order to 
Well, yes, you know, you are more than welcome here, all four of you. I'm telling Sphera this. Oh. <laughs> so it's like, take what you need, my friend. And then tomorrow I will cast the spell. And I just nods. Let's hope New Easter's got some diamonds. I'm gonna like go to the guard and say, you will feed him anything he wants. Point yes, to. Like, he helped. Feed him. He helped feed stop. Him. Savandris, we stop. are aware of who Sferia is and we will ensure he's looked after. He fought the dragon. That's good to know. I will look after him. I just kind of keep a very serene, quite cold, <laughs> ironically, expression. I like to think that Juso is just a little bit Orange. like... like yeah. Yeah. Friends almost died! Yeah. Uh, yeah. No time for this! <laughs> you, are, you are led inside. Um, and you are left in sort of like not quite a waiting room, a waiting room, but there is like a kind of foyer with like cushioned chairs and things like that. Food is brought out, drink. There are actually people come out with bandages or for any kind of like remaining wounds. There are healers. Um, they have minimal healing. They would probably each kind of cast a couple of cure wounds on whoever is injured. So yeah, you'll get three hit points. Woo! Woo! Another eight, so that becomes eleven. Mm, yeah. Three, eleven. <laughs> okay. Same amount. Uh, okay, that's ten. <laughs> like one weird. off. That was weird. <laughs> um, so yeah, like basically a few priests and priestesses come out, and you can see them sort of tending to your wounds. They apply salves and things like that. Oh. Um, nothing major. The problem is, is you're all very powerful spellcasters, and most what? of the world don't have access to that. What do the people that are treating me look like? Uh, are they young and attractive and female? Uh, they're androgynous. Uh, elven, um, you can't guess their age. All elves look immortal and timeless in a way. Um, I mean, the really, really, really old ones show signs of any sort of age. Are they attractive? Uh, some are. I mean, surely Cam would. On the Cam anything. scale of attractive enough and very attractive, and there's no real. Cam has no standard. <laughs> there's no scale. There's, I mean, I would say all of them are more attractive than humans. They, again, elven, sort of natural beauty and sort of grace. You don't know what their personalities are like, but physically they are all of the same thing. Um, you can make a perception check. I don't think Cam knows what personality is. Uh, 21. I mean, yeah, you can look at them. It's, um, it's one man, one woman, and the rest of the mix is a mixed kind of gendered group. Uh, they all have um, holy symbols of Sehanin that they carry. Um, Ah, I'm just gonna unbutton my shirt. There's bruising and fractured ribs. I mean, they, if you could apply some sort of moist towel. I mean, they apply right there. ointments and things. A few of the nurses poke at it. There's other it, places too, but I mean, they are medically treating you. They don't seem to show any interest. They just kind of treat you and then sort of now bow their heads quite sort of respectfully. You know, I fought a dragon today. They just shuffle away. A, dra a big dragon. Big dragon! You Somebody also... puts a bowl of grapes next to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you Eat also... the grapes. <laughs> it's almost like Nelistri's kind of taught his staff what to do. <laughs> Spring <laughs> grapes! It's like, just don't, just don't respond to him. Yeah. He's, he's on grapes. a list somewhere. Like, yeah. They just yeah. like, they come at like a child. They're like, that's oh, the grapes. In, in the Winter Spire meeting, <laughs> yeah. staff meeting. Yeah, that's very, yeah. It gets sent down, like, yeah. you know. Um, and it takes maybe sort of like 15 minutes or so. Uh, <laughs> very similar to when you first arrived at the Winter Spire, a very blustered, <laughs> Nelly Street bursts in. He's like looking around. You are going to be in trouble. Duh! Sorry! Like, see you. What happened? Dragon, dragon happened. My Spare scouts told outside. me the one flew from the coast. I didn't know it was we where you were had gone. The coast. Yep. What happened to the first? Mm -hmm. They said that only Sperry has come with you. Left. He's brought the body of a female frost giant. He hopes I mean, that we can raise. But other than that, there are no more frost giants. A tragedy, <laughs> of course, and, and we will see what we can do, but my immediate concern, I'm amazed. We're alive, or, it's yes, okay. I, yes, yes, that is true. And his hand sort of like reforms. And you can tell that when he gets stressed, like it just seems to stay in like a clenched fist and then occasionally he remembers to change it. Um, but he just kind of like takes a moment, he sits down, like breathes, like kind of like wipes the back of his head and things. He's like, uh, do you, do you need re what? Rest? 
My mentor once told me that a good cure for grievous wounds is a kiss, and I'm sure I saw Miss Galanadel sustain some grievous wounds. He kind of gestures a little bit. You would know nothing about it. this. Yeah. Chief Joe would know well, nothing. Well, she was encouraging it before. She was encouraging it before, but not, you wouldn't know this, this thing. <laughs> He kind of like lets out just a cold blast of air, kind of like from his hands in your direction. I'm just gonna. Yes, you know, at least a big kiss would be. Just gonna fire perfect blast right it now. back. Cam, what do you need to? Diplomatically, bring? Uh, and he kind of stands a bit taller. He's like, you know, we are friends. Please respect Miss Galanadel's position as well as mine. Yeah, respect my position. And he kind of holds his breath a little bit and like looks at Juto. I'm just gonna... Bows his head. If you require rest, obviously you may have it. And our food, we can bring you. The, the, the priestesses and priests of Sahanin will attend to you as best they can. They will require some rest to replenish their magical energy. I will ensure that Sveria has uh, comforts as much as we can provide. Your spell, the ability to bring someone back, what do you Spells. require? I require two diamonds. A golden chalice. Red wine. The diamonds I can provide if you can if you can provide some monetary requisition, supplies are needed for our efforts in the Feywild. Such as uh, a magical artifact? Uh, yeah. like gold will actually be gold. better for us right now. We need gold to pay Hallow and some of the other settlements around for supplies. How what an approximate value of this diamond? Uh, 1,000 for the two. 1,000 for the two. Would you be at least willing to part with 750 gold? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I would not normally ask of you, but I have things I need to ensure that my people have, and those diamonds are part of our treasury. There was also a a medicine lady that was just here, and I believe she was mid-treatment. Right. Um, But she got dismissed. No, they've clearly finished, Ken. There's so much more bruising I'm that I sure didn't show them. Their magical energies are probably spent, I'm afraid. I can give them some magical energy back. I'm sure you can. Feel I don't free need to, to add to his bruising. Uh, no, <laughs> it's fine. Um, yes, if you can part with some monetary funds, that would be appreciated. Be uh, you mentioned thousand. magical artifacts. Yes, the Everseed in your vaults. Well, I thought that that was more of interested for protection. I did not really wish to keep it. Well, in that case. Speaking of magical items, we do have a couple of things that we don't know what, what they do. I suppose Nalistri's wonderful emporium of, of identification is available, if you <laughs> wish. Juto <laughs> 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 didn't do that, she's just... Mm. Yes. Kim, Kim is just enjoying the... Uh, <laughs> I have enough magical energy to do so for the remainder of the day. Um, Bracers. You wouldn't be to do it now! Please. It's fine. We There's don't only have to a go big today. war going on. He really holds true. out his hands, looking at Elora, and takes Thank them, you. shuffles off. <laughs> <laughs> kind of casts a spell. His eyes glaze over for a moment. Ah, yes. Uh, these appear made by giants, but made for perhaps a human ally or a favored human of some sort. Uh, they are. They they will help protect somebody that wears them, but not somebody who wears armor. They are meant for a, an unarmored warrior. Um, they are braces of defense. Juto! I get something! <laughs> Juto, how many items are you attuned to? Doss loot, Guandao, and Ion an stone. Ion Stone. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's three. If you would like to attune to these braces of defense, you'll need to give up an item. Can I ask about the harpoon? Yes, he will also identify the harpoon. harpoon. He considers it for a moment. He's like, oh, interesting. There's a small amount of uh, lore tied to this. Uh, its name is uh, Skjorhold. It is a spear crafted by the giants uh, during their war with the demons. It is in, in, It was built to Awkward. fight against demons, which are resistant to mundane weaponry. I don't um, demons. Demons Awkward. and devils, fiends, uh, the better term. Um, they, uh, the, the runes are designed to basically give it its magical power. It is simply a, a magical weapon of considerable power. Enhanced it damage. Is a, it is a plus two spear. Plus cool. two? Yes. 
Spear's pretty cool. Who wants to yeah, spear? Like, the extra stuff that awesome. your Quando has. It's no, useless. it's like... It would not be as your your Kwandao is plus two with radiant damage. So right now the spear is not incredibly useful. Is it useful to anyone else? Sferia? Selling. Sferia, yeah. give it to Sferia. It? Yeah, I'll give it to Sferia. Let's go. Or is, well, the thing is, I can't give you magic items. You're like, nah, fuck can it. Can we can we keep it and sell it because we could do with buying can. some stuff like you can absolutely what keep the elf said stuff. You can absolutely keep it and sell it if keep you really it want. Sell it. It's up to because you. we need to gather supplies that are actually useful to us. Yeah. Or maybe we can meet the genie guy again. That's probably not. He's gonna um, be in the in Talisbar. He's in Talisbar actually. I'm gonna. He's probably can I mull over it. Do I you can mull over it, yes, but yeah. you won't get the benefit. So um, uh, when you do, if you do choose to wear the braces, they basically give you a plus two bonus to AC if you are not wearing armor and not using a shield. What is the iron? So they would only work for me or you. Yeah, because yeah. they're basically. basically they're intended for spellcasters or monks. So, what does the Iron Sphere do? Plus two wisdom. Gives me wisdom. Oh, wisdom. Is wise. <laughs> Makes okay. me wise. I think, I think you find the utility of the Dost loot a bit too useful, don't you, to really give that up? Mm. I mean, you could do, but. I was just looking at it thinking. Yeah, if you want to get rid of it, you can do. Because uh, intel the wisdom is really useful. Mm -hmm. So. Well. In the least three, would we be able to get uh, Sphere up here to the teleportation circle? Uh, well, the, te the, uh, the teleportation circle I have been inscribing is... Um, the way the spell works, Mr. Farahorn, is uh, it, I, if I continuously cast the same spell for a year in the same place, I will develop a permanent teleportation circle there. Mm. It was my hope to develop a permanent transition between Talisval and the Windspire in Aiding Relations. I intend to build one at the Moon of the Spire of the Moon and at many other places. I can cast a spell anywhere, however, and send you to Talisval. I would not be able to come with you because I would not be able to teleport back here. But I could send yourselves and Sveria to the city if required. Okay. Let's do that tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. I think it's yes, best we all take a rest. I have cast it today already to maintain my permanent circle, so... And I need to raise, raise some people. Yes, yeah, do you wish to do, do that do here, or...? Uh, have you is got it anything better to transport? Do? Dead or alive? Uh, Sveria is a frost giant, and with yourselves, it will become a very tight fit if I am to... Well, they still, mass-wise, going to be the same. Well, that's... No, I'm saying in terms of... He could carry a body. I mean, I suppose if he... What, to Talisval? Through the circle, yes. Oh, I see, yes. Well... It, it, it's possible. It's difficult, however. Okay. We could always... I can wait till Talos Val. Well, we could go to Talos Val and then Sverger could perhaps, when you cast the spell next, the next day, he join could, us. He could join you then. Like, I could cast the spell tomorrow and send him that way. That's true. Okay. If it I would advise easier. you have someone to meet him when I send him. I believe a frost giant suddenly appearing in Talos Val would cause some alarm. And a big him. dog. Big wolf. Yes. Very well, yes. Mm. Okay, tomorrow morning. I will raise it there and then you can teleport us. Yes. Yes, I'm more than happy to do so. Let's thank it you is good right. practice for me, if nothing else. So. Thank you for your hospitality. As always, always. Well, um, we will find our own the, rooms. You will before eager. you all go, there is a matter I need to take as steward. This dragon, what happened to it? It escaped. It took Reynard and bargained its life for his. So it's still in the area. Yes, it flew away from the winter spot. Yeah, we know which way it went, roughly, don't we? So we tell. It did go away, yeah. He kind of thinks for a moment. I am just wary that once the dragon has recovered from any wounds you've dealt it, it may come seeking vengeance. I will need to ensure that we have adequate defences. The um, dragon works for Felania. Interesting. It's more than likely it'll be summoned to Talisval to fight alongside the armies. I expect so, but just in case, I'll just need to make some preparations with my people. Get some archers. There is, if anything does happen, if it does decide to attack here, Laura, there is one thing. If it comes down to it, I will have to take the spire back to the Feywild, and it will be some time before we can come back. If I feel that we're at that desperate an hour where people are in danger, I will have to make that decision. I might not Should be able to return. Should be able to evacuate people instead? If we have somewhere to go, but against a dragon, I don't know where we could send them. That wouldn't leave the spire abandoned, and the connection with the Feywild is weak here. The, the spire is a defense. We need to ensure that we're protecting it. It's 
the choice of either risking the dragon destroying the spire and then beings from the Feywild enter, or it is putting my people at risk. I, I, it is a difficult decision. It is weakened right now. Is there any chance you could send an elite squad to finish it off? A, a dragon flies faster than my men can probably catch it. If we know it's vague direction, I can send scouts to see if it finds a lair, but... It'd be too risky. Let me say that the fact that if this was a, a true dragon, you four are lucky to have saved you as yourselves. There is nobody here that I think is more powerful than you. Mm. You're you know, not I, wrong there, Alistri. No, I imagine it's so. Very strong. Well, strength in certain ways, yes. Um, I will consider it and I will speak to my advisors and we'll figure out what we can do. I just wanted you to be aware that that's something I might have to do. It's not what I want, but it's, I just need to put my spire first, really. And it kind of looks at you Send sadly. a message to my spire. Yes, I can do. I just, I worry what we could do, but we'll think and I'll send word. There might be a way that we could get, I don't know, get people there, evacuate them there so they're safe. I just, I just worry about leaving entry points to the Feywild undefended. And I don't want to leave my people trapped in the Feywild either. It's a longer discussion, but uh, get some rest. I will speak with my advisors and we'll figure something out. Um, and he kind of bids you a farewell and starts heading off. He steals one last glance back at Elora and then he trundles through the doors. Um, you can see as well that, uh, I probably should have mentioned this when he entered, he did have the flower tucked into his like uh, robes. He had it like in a little pocket. Um, you, you would have noticed he had a flower in his pocket. But yeah. So, uh, yeah. It's like one of your flowers, suspiciously. Fine. Juto's not saying anything. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you guys are just left to recover and take a long rest or yeah. as you need. It is late evening as you are getting back here. Long rest, long rest. You've left in the morning, it took half a day. We've taken half a day to come back, it's now late evening. So everyone in Telus is dead now? I'm going to go out and check All dead. on Sveria before I go retire. As you're kind of going outside, you make your way to where they left him and you kind of hear him talking, but it's just, it's... He's talking to someone and then as you kind of peer around the corner, he's talking to the, the body next to him. He's just sort of talking about tales and sort of speaking about what they're going to do. You hear him sort of mentioning a trip across the sea um, to find other frost giants and things like that. Um, I'll leave him to it then and just kind of back away okay, quietly. You just kind of stealth away, like he doesn't detect you, like you can move stealthily enough that, you know, if you don't, you're just poking your head around, yeah. you just kind of hear him and then you make your way out. Um, he's got Hal next to him as well, like the two bodies sort of like beside him. Um, and yeah, so if you guys want to take a long rest. I do. Okay. Guess everyone else Anybody wants done. to do anything else? Like any spell casting, any planning or preparations? I am spent spent. Yeah, I am ready whenever. Start through my hip so point. there are more frost giants and he's not the last of them. Like that wasn't the only That's what you heard him well that's what Cam heard. Raynard wouldn't know that, I guess. I suppose, yeah. We only get half our hit point, hit dice back on a long rest. Half your hit dice back, but as this is this campaign, you get all your hit points. Um, cool. I would like to scry on Cassandra. Fails. You bring out the crystal orb, the mists begin to form. Okay, you see uh, Cassandra, she appears to be, you know, the mists kind of form and you see the, the interior walls of the, the complex that makes up the Temple of Bahamut. Um, these kind of like, almost like uh, friary or monastery style kind of corridors with like large open bits leading out into little peace gardens and things like that. And you see her kind of making her way um, you see her checking on other armoured figures, on priests and clerics. She kind of stops, looks in rooms, kind of gives them solemn nods. Her expression is a mix of anger and frustration. Um, you see her having kind of dejected conversation with people. Um, as you kind of keep following her for the rest of the scrying, she actually uh, sits down with 
uh, several other figures around a table. They seem to be in some sort of perhaps a barracks attached to the temple. Um, you see her sitting with uh, Finney, uh, Giles Woodcroft, one of the members of the Council of Talsval, and Korak, and they are drinking. It does not look happy. It looks commiseratory. It looks dejected and a little bit dour, but also resolute. Um, and you see them sharing a drink together. Does it look like the council have given in to Felania? You don't know. You don't know. I've described what you see. How damaged do they look? <laughs> you, I, you can infer whatever you like from that description. Like, if you think that that means that the <laughs> council have given in to Felania, then, then I mean, that's what I think you believe. It's the last night, isn't it? Something's going to kick off. Yeah. And after the last one as well. Oh, I don't know. We better get back, bros. Take the long I'm rest. Um, we need to. We're shagged. Yeah, we are shagged. <laughs> do you Maybe have any, one of us at least. Do you have any spell slots left? Uh, small ones, why? No, I was just wondering if you had any way to do anything extra tonight so that we didn't have to wait. Nay, no, nothing that I can prepare myself with. Though I could. No, I can't. Quick question while they're... What, yes. Um, so the ion Whilst stone... the spellcasters are going like, Oh, let me look at my spell card. Sorry for playing the fucking game, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you remind me of the iron stone? So you say it's plus two to wisdom. wisdom. And when you say plus two, do you mean like... The actual score. So what's your wisdom so score currently? 16. So if you remove the iron stone, it would go to 14, which means it becomes a plus two. two. Okay. So you lose a plus one, basically. You lose one off like DC's armor class. Um, armor class, Because mm. you're a monk, you get your wisdom modified to armor class. You get it off your DC's, your wisdom you saving throw, wisdom based skills. Yeah, it just seems a bit dumb to like get a plus two armor. I mean, if you keep yeah, the Iron Stone the and the braces, and it's two. that's well, another two, and then another 20. one. That's, yeah, you, you know. Whereas if you lose the Iron Stone and equip the braces, it'd be 19. You know. Yeah, it's Maybe like, what's your point? Keep yeah, it depends on how much you find the Dos League useful. You do use it a lot, but... One. I only use one or two spells on it, though. Yeah, true. Fly and Invisibility. And she's yeah. got Invisi Blurs. One. Yeah. I mean, I don't, how many items does Rainbow have? I've just got gold. Two. A two well, I'm yeah, sort of attuned say. to that, but I'm not wearing it. Like... I mean, no, that tent? doesn't require attunement. If you get it fixed to fit you, because currently tailoring. it's fitted for a woman, but yeah. if you get it fixed for you, it doesn't require attunement. But so can we... you wear medium armor? I mean, I'm wearing like leather armor at the moment. I'm sure How I can. Do you have? You're a ranger, Two. right? I'm almost certain you can. He's got one, though. I'm almost certain you can wear it. So I could give him one of mine and take the braces. No, I, I have, have a low AC. I have 60. But you've got like... I would argue it makes more sense for Juto because yeah. A, you could wear armour if you wanted to, you can wear leather. Can yeah, you can wear leather armour. Why haven't I ever done it? I don't know. Did, uh, it, did we not do that though? I don't know, but you can wear leather armour. Um, but the other thing as well is um, you've got the elemental form, whereas like Juto is basically not being hit is her only defence. Yeah. Um, and then maybe it would make sense hell. like for you to have the... Um, like you could buy some enchanted leather armour if you wanted to boost AC. It's nothing. You could do that. Well, I don't think I want to do that. I've got my crossbow and I've got... Actually, I shouldn't really give... I shouldn't suggest stuff as a DM, but I want to make that point clear because I, that is a thing, I think. I guess the griffin isn't a magical item. It's no. Just a, uh, figurine of yeah. Wondrous Power I don't think requires attunement, though. No. no, we didn't say that... I hope not, because otherwise we broke the last three or four sessions. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> no. I, in fact, I checked it. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. So... You can swap items around, you can do all that shiz. Uh, I think, yeah, I'm going to give the DOS loot to... <laughs> the wannabe bard? <laughs> He's got three items as well, I think, yeah. haven't you? I've just got gold heart. Gold heart now. Oh, you lost loads of stuff, didn't you? Yeah. What did you lose? Well, I don't have the he, dragon thing. He I traded the dragon the old thing Nimbus. in. He traded in the old Nimbus. You had something else. You've got before. Nimbus though. You, you still got the new cloak. Nimbus, Raven right? Cloak, yeah. Yeah, he does have the he does have the new Nimbus. You have Nimbus and Goldheart. Yeah, the two. So you've those two. two. Yeah. But yeah, nothing else actually, because oh, you don't okay. have the armor. I've got a little buckler. Um, I've got your clothing. Yeah, it's just mundane yeah. armor, isn't it? You've got yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can give him the loot. He's most likely. Bing, 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 bing. Also, what's your perform skill? Plus twelve. Pretty, he's actually pretty good with it. Ding, ding, ding. So what I'm going to do is going to kind of, 
in, before we all tuck up for bed. I'm gonna go up to Reynard, hold out my DOS loot. Play a song. Uh, okay. Um, uh, oh, wait. Make, make charisma. <laughs> well, roll plus charisma. Or perform if you have any skill ranks in perform. Um, performance or, well, charisma. That's a 16. 16? He has to look at the friends a bit. It's like bum 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 D. Okay, I'm gonna take it back, give it to Cam. Really? Play me a song. I'm not very good. And I throw it behind my head and start going. Yeah, I know, you're gonna have to roll for it. Oh. Uh plus twelve. 19. 19. It's pretty good. It's like he doesn't look at the frets. It's not quite behind you. He does that and then he's like, a bit rusty. Little, little clip. <laughs> you know, maybe you like bring it back over and. Yeah. <laughs> you may have this. Really? Yes. The old DOS loot? Mm -hmm. The old fly musician thing? You sure? It's also. You can kind of naturally fly with Step of the Wind now, anyway. Yeah, exactly. yeah that's what I was thinking. Just do not irritate me with your music, or I will take it away from you. you know he's I'm gonna, gonna make some there. brooding, uh, like, comedy Brown. music to underline what she's saying. Like what? Give me an example. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, <laughs> bum, <laughs> I will take it from you. Well. Bing! <laughs> will you be responsible? Yes, I'll be responsible. It'll be played like no other. Well, you give him the card, he's currently holding it. Beauteous <laughs> music will be performed and it will save all our lives, all at once. Good. Thank you. I think you will be just fine. It's nice to have a guitar again. I used to perform on stage, naked. I can't even remember what the DOS loot does. Fly, invisibility, levitate, animal friendship, protect from evil and dead. Whoa! Protect from protect fire, from fire, protect, protect, protect from poison. poison. Does all that as well? It's one yeah. thing per day. Ah. No, it's, no, it's each of once, those ones today. Those ones Damn. Today. Holy crap. Until you get a short rest or a long, long rest. rest. I've written it on there. Long yeah, rest. long rest. Um, I've also written on the back what um, Protect from Evil Undead is, because I could always, I always forgot that. Yeah, it's a spell. He's got the cleric spell of it. So. Distant advantage from the yeah. yeah. Cool. cool. People are going to be so salty that we have just treated a loot like an electric guitar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like bing, 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 bing. <laughs> That's how it normally sounds. It's shit. It's got a strap, I assume. Yeah. I'm going to put it on the back. Yeah. Also, technically, wouldn't it hurt these guys because they're not attuned to it? Uh, yeah, there's a thing, isn't there? <laughs> Is it us? There's something with the barred music of instruments. If you try and play it when you're not attuned to it... Because that was the it, first thing I did, was I, I tried to play it You took psychic damage, yeah, I remember this now, I yeah. I hurt myself. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> this is before we go to sleep, right? Because yeah. that might down me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's he's find like, out. He strums a guitar and passes out. <laughs> You've earned your moment of comedy from almost being killed. Yeah, instruments of the Bards. Yeah, a creature that attempts to play the instrument without being attuned. Both of you make deep wisdom saving throws. <laughs> Natural one. Oh no. Oh uh, 16. boy. 16. Yeah. Reynard's fine. Cam, however, takes five psychic damage. Duh. Ah! <laughs> and you played it twice. Make another DC wisdom saving throw. 11 plus uh, 5, 16. Okay, you're fine on that one. Oh, yeah. So it's the, um, I'd like to think of it as like he's hurt by the act of thinking, like remembering how oh. to play guitar. Yeah. <laughs> he's thought about it really hard. Also, I get a blister on my finger. Aww, you got a little blister. Damn it. Okay. Um, cool. I take it you will return to your rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Elora outside of yours is just another ice rose left outside the door. Blech! Just like before you go in, it's just kind of like laid on like a little silk handkerchief or something. <coughs> or something. Uh, and yeah, you have a long rest. What are my braces called? Braces of defense. Plus two got AC. Some, some like Viking name? Not all of them do, no. I have a Skjald. Ramshackle. Thor. <laughs> Thor. Thor's Big bracers. Sword. I'm writing it down as Thor's bracers, so. Sure. Viking bracers. Viking van bracers. Plus two to AC. Thor's. So Jutuna has an AC of 20. Bracers. Damn. Yeah, it's good when she's only yeah. got 70 hit points. Yeah. yeah. So squishy. Squishy. 
scale armor. You always, I always like downed it. you, I think, with just tail attacks, didn't I? It was just yeah. like yep. whack, whack, whack. Well, I have evasion, so I don't know if, like, the. No, nah, evasion's for deck saving throws. Yeah, but oh, like, the lightning breath, yeah, you, yeah. You, that would have probably not touched you at all. I don't know how even happened. Well, it's actually quite a high DC. Yeah. It's, it's 19, the breath weapon DC on that. Jesus. But, oh, damn. I need to rewrite my character sheet, so get okay. the Um. You awake in the morning. It's uh, pleasantly warm here in the Spire, actually. The, the heat doesn't translate through. It's, it's oh. kept at a, a, a moderate temperature. Um, breakfast, all that sort of stuff is brought out. Shit, I ain't going to do all of that. In that case, we will fast forward to actually... <laughs> well, do you want to just go find this ferrier and then just get the hell out of here? Um, I will raise dead first. You're going to do it first, yeah. Well, we talked about Oh yeah, you yeah. said like you want to send them through the next day, yes. right? Okay. The raise dead ritual begins. Uh, did trying... you, did somebody mark off 750 gold to buy I marked the... off, I gave him a thousand. You just gold. gave him a thousand? Yeah. Sweet. So you mark that off, you've got the two diamonds, you begin casting the spell. Who are you targeting first? I'm gonna do Howl first. Okay. What are people offering? I'm gonna invite as many people as I can to this. Howl's uh, army gonna do anything. I'll invite another these three. Just to witness. I mean, yeah, he'll come along. Okay. He'll probably bring like um you see him bring sort of like a silver sort of uh like a figurine made of silver. Would... I don't really know if it would contribute much, but Sperio's horn that he gave me? Maybe. Mm. 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 Yeah. 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 Maybe. I'm yeah. gonna... S what you have, I will say, now that you've witnessed it from multiple different times with the ritual, things like memories or items that don't have any magical power, things like that, don't have as much as... Okay. Things like magical relics, mm -hmm. uh, things like, you know, can giving up light bomb. Obviously, that's a huge concentration of power. Yeah. Um, you, you know, anything which actually has some substance of power to it is more effective than other things. Other things do still have a, an effect, but it is less than the other. Can I... We do have the spear. What about, we, yeah, the harpoon. We can give up the harpoon for the lady, I believe. That might be worthwhile. Mm. Uh, can... Papa? Unknown woman, Papa. Future of the Frost Clan race. <laughs> Marco. Well, no, I mean, like, they're not going to be able to repopulate an entire race with two of them. And they yeah. can't bang the wall. No, that's true. Well, it's up to you guys. It's not my decision. Uh, I will. Sverio is holding this figurine for the woman. He's not giving it. For oh, a dog. okay. Like, Can... He's like, that's really sad. His dog died. <laughs> you gave me money for the diamonds. You can do what you want with it, but it's like. Okay. I mean, it's yeah, like in like, Fable 2, he know it. I saved the dog, didn't okay. save the world. <laughs> um, blah, blah, blah. Can Juto just have a quick side conversation with Sferio as to, like, I'll, I'll offer the spear to him, the mm -hmm. harpoon, and say, well, this is for you, either to have to wield or... Are you giving it to Sferio to choose? To sacrifice. Why, Why wouldn't is I? Is he not going to already have something to sacrifice? But I'm well, gonna say no, he doesn't have anything with him, really. I mean, yeah. he, you don't know what he's going to give, but he if you're giving him the spear, if you're holding it and you give it to him... Yeah, I want to give it to okay. him and say, obviously this is from the Thane. Mm. Um, so either he can keep it to wield as, you know, Frost Giant leader, mm. or sacri I will explain that it will uh, help to power the spell. Kind of like frowns for a moment. Hey. So I can give the spear to help bring, but can spell will bring them back. Complications. They oh. may not come back the same way. Uh, what way? How else will they come? Different races, different uh, hindrances. Uh, things happen. Oh. It's a very powerful spell with consequences. Oh. The more that we can infuse in that have magical property, the, the better. They will come back, just not necessarily as you know them. For example... He, he like nods. He seems to understand. He, he's just kind of thinking quite deeply. Okay. And he kind of holds it. He's like, I will think while you I'm, prepare. I'm going to start with how. Okay. Just so you know. Like nods. This is really clear. Like he nods. <laughs> 
Okay. Can I give anything? Yes, yeah, something that is important. Important and hopefully powerful. Okay. Mm. I know what I will give for how. Okay. Not yourself. No. No. Okay. He died to save me. He just kind of looks that down. That would be a waste. He kind of comes up and as you're kind of channeling with kind of spell, you sense that Sverrier gives up some of his strength, his actual physical strength as a Aww. giant. Um, you see his muscles kind of shrink. He shrinks a little bit himself. Um, his muscles kind of get a bit smaller. Um, and yeah, he gives up some of his strength and you feel that kind of rush through you and go into Howl's body. Uh, that's what he gives up. It's an hour long spell, so okay, it's, well, it's, it's a long it, one. It's basically, it's up to the three of you, or up to I'm the four of you. If you are giving anything, then just say what you're giving. If not, then I will roll the uh, results. Golf okay. ball size ruby. Golf ball size ruby, did it have a value written down? Did not. I have two. Okay. <laughs> so I can have one of, for each of one them. One of them for each of them. Golf ball size ruby. Okay, yep, sounds good. So you kind of do that. You watch as the ruby just kind of dissipates into an energy and then sucked into Cam and then flows into his hands as he touches the uh, the dire wolf's body. With the necromancer's diary, is that like a magical item? It didn't appear to be no, so. It's just a it's just a collection of notes. Mad dude's diary. Yeah, basically. What about like? It's like I don't know this dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, these guys are the treasurers. <laughs> What about like money? I don't have any magic. Yeah, things. you can use money if you want. Can I give up 600 gold? Yeah. So. You just pile it in. I reckon that's as much as the rubies worth. Yeah. The gold vanishes. I really want the dog to come back. Okay. Well, mark off 600 gold. Just as it evaporates. And the spell is completed. If it comes back as a pre Now, excuse me while I load Google Drive. <laughs> He's got his tables. I'm gonna get my table up. It better not be a poodle. Poodle might be. Comes Oops. back as a pug. <laughs> Useless pug. How powerful is this spell to act as a retcon? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Could you give up? For example, say someone was, I don't know, scared of the dark. You couldn't give up a fear. It has to okay. be something okay. important, it has yeah. to be valuable to you. Can you give up the a fact that you've been de-aged? Hmm? Can you give up the fact that you've been de-aged? No. You could give... you. Actually, maybe, I'd say you could probably try and age yourself, yeah. yeah. You could give up like years Most of your Most people, life. I guess, would see that as a good thing, but... I want to give up, give up the humane life. Yeah, death. you could do. You could do that. Could you give up your natural 20? Oh, hell no. <laughs> It'd be tied to his charisma in a way, yeah. It's too powerful <laughs> for the spell. Okay, so, what did I roll? Resurrect the entirety of Talisman. Oh my god, they're all back. <laughs> and they're better than before! Okay, so you watch as the energy from Cam's hands fills into Howl's body. You watch as new, uh, wounds knit and kind of shrink back together. You've seen that the wolf had suffered a terrible like, claw up its side. Most of its organs have been shredded, but these now begin to magically mend and knit. Its fur kind of covers it. And it does begin to change form, very much how uh, Libram did. Yeah. It whole body becomes like a, a blend of um, light as it kind of merges. And it seems to, it doesn't get smaller, but its form changes from this of a wolf, like a, a hound, lupine-like form. Its kind of body grows wider and fatter, its muzzle shrinks a little, but it still has these four paws. And then how as it kind of merges back, <laughs> Um, a large brown, but with flecks of grey in its kind of fur, bear uh, ah. remains. And it... No. And it kind of looks around. Um, and Sphere is like, that is a bear! That is how... How is a dog, not the bear! It is a wolf! See for yourself. He like looks down, and the bear's like... And it looks up at Sphere. And he like bounds up to him and wraps little paws around and starts licking his like Big face paws, and stuff like that. Like, rawr, rawr, rawr. and he picks it up and he looks in its eyes. He's like, howl! And he like throws him up and catches him. He's still fucking strong. He's a giant. He's still got like fucking 20 strength. He's <laughs> like throws him around and he like Don't hugs him and he hugs the bear and it's like licking his face. Aww. I spelled Worth well it. done. I did well. And now for... 
my Rose. lady. Siga. Siga. Yes. Is there anything you can tell me about her so that I can think upon it? She was a shield maiden and she was one of the first to fall to the dragon. She has been kind to me for a long time. We were friends as children. Even when I was exiled, she would still uh, speak with me and give me food and bring me aid. Now you see what the spell does. Anything you can impart with. He nods. He lays the things spear on the body. There cannot be a clan if there is only myself. There would be no one to lead. But perhaps now, if we can find more of our kind, there is a chance. Very well. Let's start channeling the spell while other people... He watches the bone harpoon begins to crumble away into like golden dust that flies up into the air, mingles with the snow, you always begin to feel like a breeze kind of passing through, like an icy breeze as it disintegrates, flows into the body. Um, are you still going to give up the other ruby? You place that in, same sort of effect. And you can see that the flash from the spear was significantly brighter than that of the ruby, um, but it still has like a pulsing glow. Uh, Juto, anything? Can I age myself a little bit? So you want to give up some years of your life? Yeah. Will it make me look older? You don't... <laughs> then no. You don't know. No. Okay. Final decision? Get some money. Okay. Tell me how much, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> 500. I like how, like, also, that's not me trying to say, like, it's not going to work, Kim. I'm saying Juto would have no idea how this would work. It could age you, it could make you look older, it might not. You don't That's know. Nice. I'm not gonna fuck with it. Okay, fine. Um, I just don't want you to think that I'm being obtuse. Well, you're always being obtuse to no, me, Mark. I'm not. You're always, you like that. That's our relationship. I'm not. I wind you up. I'm not and obtuse. You wind me up. I don't think you're obtuse, I think you're acute. <laughs> oh. Uh, so, fuck uh, yeah. The spell's gonna fail now. <laughs> um. I go home. <laughs> 500. That's our funds. Mm. <laughs> it's the Frost Giant Race. Sphere did a lot for us. I'm thinking that. That's a lot of money. <laughs> like, you feel, you're like, no, you're like trying to hold the gold and stop it from going in the body. Like, I'll save some for passing me. through me. Also, ah! that's what Juto would do. Like, she doesn't really have any, you know, attachment to material wealth. I think that's, uh, that's a fair point. I think yeah. Juto wouldn't. Well, you kind of spent it. I think that's kind of she doesn't really appreciate how much that could be because yeah, you've never had also money. Also, she spent the whole like journey kind of giving money to people who okay. need it. You know, like the people at Greybell and the dwarves at um, Feldbahn and all that. Spending all the mithril on your Guandao. Yeah. <laughs> also, you kind of spending well, the first I, giant money on that. I gave up my Guandao <laughs> to save know, everyone. I know. That is a funny joke. Uh, so the spell kind of coalesces. Um, she does not appear to change form. The silver thingy that Nilistri had? Yeah, he puts that in as well. Okay. Yeah, he puts that in as well. Um, to be honest, that's not worth a lot. <laughs> it's like, oh, son of a bitch. He's like, this. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't mind that as well. Um, Just getting rid of junk at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, the, Get some paper towels. <laughs> the spell kind of coalesces over her, um, and no visible changes seem to occur. Um, um, but when she kind of awakens, uh, you can kind of see that there is a sort of panicked look in her eye. She like glances around. She's like, the dragon, where is the dragon? And she's like looking for a weapon and things like that. And Sphera holds, she's like, Sigurd, no, Sigurd, it's gone. It's, it's, it's been defeated. It's been driven away. And she kind of like looks up at him and then in giant, they begin conversing. Reynard, um, Juto. he basically, do you speak giant as well? I speak all, all spoken languages. All languages. Because of you are a monk now. So you two over here that he basically explains to her what happened in Giant. He explains that the four of you drove the dragon away, that you saved him, and that now you've brought her back to life. She, the two of you see her begin to kind of sob and cry as he tells her that the others are gone, that they, they, you can't bring the others back, that, you know, Sveria could pick only one and he picked her. They, you know, embrace, you see them, she's visibly upset, but then she kind of turns and she kind of like wipes like icy tears away from her eyes and it's like, small folk, 
I don't know what to say. To thank you for not only getting revenge for my people, but for bringing me back. I do not know you, but Sperger speaks very well of you, and you have my gratitude and the gratitude of my kin for all of our generations to come. It is my duty now to pass on this tale to the others of our kind. I will speak of your names. I bow in giant. <laughs> I bow in giant. I bow in human. <laughs> You're so amused by yourself. That's the funny thing. So yeah. Uh, yeah. They return to life. Sveria kind of looks to you and he says, You have already done so much, my friends. You have your own business, and we will join you soon. Head back to your city, and we will join you there. Together, we will bring justice to that traitor, the Cloud Giant. I will not speak her name, for I do not respect it. Now do not use this second chance in vain. Take care of yourselves, and be safe. I will spend the remaining day. We will find weapons that we can use. Maybe help the Winter Spire defend itself from any potential dragon threats while we are gone. If that dragon returns, I will see it then. I know you can restrain it. I've seen that, so we will see. Do you wish love? for this to be returned? And I hold out the horn he gave me. Yes. The horn will bring me to you if I can hear it, but I will come and help you as best I can. Keep it, a memento. Keep it, to remind you of what happened. These nods. And he kind of like turns to Sigrid and they continue conversing in giant. And you understand that they're talking about what they should do next, basically. Yeah. Uh, they agree that they're basically gonna come to Talisval and fuck up Falani and shit. And then after that, they're gonna go and find other frost giants. So, cool. um, uh, how? He's still getting used to his bear form. He's like waddling around. Aww. But Sveria seems to be quite fond of it. He's like, oh, look at you. And he like picks him up. <laughs> Picking up a bear. Like rolls him around. Tummy like rubs. A, yeah. I did that to Milo this morning. It's like tummy rubs. Like he got stuck around. on my sock. <laughs> Cat claws. Um, uh, yeah. I'm going to turn to... The least tree is like... The least tree. Yeah. Are guess. you ready? Yeah. I've prepared a circle back inside, so... Come with me. You don't have powers to restore the spells I just used, do you? No. I just thought you were a wizard. Yes, wizards can't do that. Can Has a wizard want... told you that they can do that? No. Has a wizard touched you saying that they can do that? No. Okay, good. <laughs> don't let them. <laughs> <laughs> and then he clicks his fingers, the unseen servant with the grapes appears in front of Can, starts drifting into the winter spire. I've already eaten. No, this tree. But there's more. No. How can you say no? Because I must question it, wizard. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> like, looks at Elora. <laughs> <laughs> the grapes are all we had. I don't know. <laughs> He's learning. <laughs> <laughs> He's adapted. <laughs> at least he thinks for a minute. Ah. Asusaviria, please lead Cam along. And a very pretty elven lady is like, please, Mr. Buckland, this way. Where are we going? She <laughs> <Just> slowly <laughs> leads him away this time. She's like, yes. Um, we have to keep adapting ideas. Yeah, we have to keep Give coming up with different ideas. Uh, he leads you through and he leads you up into, uh, it's actually uh, separated from the main spire in a separate sort of like, uh, sort of room. Um, and you can see that there are various positions for guards to be placed there, but basically it's a large open sort of spherical room made of ice. Um, with a raised platform upon which you can see runes uh, etched around on the perimeter. He gestures, step inside, I will conjure the spell and I can send you to Alfred in Talisvall. Try and stay not in the Feywild, please. I'll do what we can. I don't um, know what else we can do to help. Is there anything else that... <sighs> I think if you've wounded it badly and you do believe that it will go towards Talos Val. I have sent some scouts ahead. If it flies this way, they have a way of letting me know. I've given them um, a scroll that can contact me. We are going to try something I've never tried before, a very powerful illusion that will make it look like we're not here. Okay, 
Dragons, they're powerful. If they get close, I'm, it's a gamble, but it's the best we can do. Is there any way you can give me a scroll that you can tell me if you're gonna leave? I can send you it. I, I, well, you don't need a scroll. I can send the message to you and you'll be able to reply. Now that I know how the spell works. <laughs> I learnt it specifically to prevent the problems that we encountered before. Okay. How are they positioned at the moment? What do you mean? Melistri and Alora. Are they like talking to each other? I'm gonna just wander around. Okay. And kind of stroll behind Nilly Street. Okay. And then. Just like. You feel like a really cold hand, literally like crawling under your shirt and like pressing against your back. <sighs> um, <sighs> and then Nilly Street just turns. Step on the platform, Cam. I need you this on one? the pla- That one. Yep. Just making my way. He turns. Mr. Ferrohorn, Mr. Uter, if you would step on the platform. Elora. He just like, he looks at you and just smiles and points at the platform. Kind of a little bit of a knowing look in his eye. I just go up to him and give him a kiss again. <laughs> and then I'll get on the He kind of looks surprised. He was like, I was going to do that. And then he just kind of like smiles. He's like, ah. You beat me to it. And then just kind of clicks his fingers or like wave of energy pulses out. And you see like a whoosh. Like part way through. I'm like, yeah. And <laughs> the <least> <laughs> disappear. <laughs> yeah. And you're pointing in a room full of books, like a big thick yeah. bookcase room. <laughs> Um, you're stood on a similar stone pedestal with runes erected around the outside, different runes. Um, and yeah, it's empty. You see that it's just basically this empty room full of books. Uh, no visible exit. So this is the laboratory? Alfred's. This is Alfred's uh, study, uh, study. Which you have technically been in before. Mm, this is yeah. where he teleported you to uh, oh, Velderman. Oh, yeah. uh, right. So you we know where the, there's a little secret lever that opens the door and leads you into Champion's Hold. Is Alfred in the room? He is not. He's not. And we are in Champion's Hold. Well. You are. Okie dokie. Um. Uh. I'm just going to look her uh, all dour and loving at Alora. I don't know if he's going to go to the Feywild, okay? Was there a transference of elven energy between moon and winter? Uh, punch him on the arm really hard. Ah. I'm really strong, it hurts. That one <laughs> broke like, my arm. <laughs> it's like the worst <laughs> dead arm. Like, that arm is useless. <laughs> like, it's uh, like an hour. One hour, short rest to get that arm back. <laughs> worth it. I'm just gonna turn to Laura and just very seriously say, if he breaks your heart, I will hunt him down and I will kill him. Good to know. And then I just walk off. Okay. Where are you okay. walking, you two? I'm just looking for the exit. I don't know where the exit is. I'm just yeah, it's got like a little candle, sort of like yeah. um, uh, a <laughs> sconce. <laughs> sconce. You pull on the sconce and you, you hear the door click. You pull it open, the bookshelf, um, and it enters into a corridor in Champion's Hold. You can hear footsteps moving around, um, echoing down. That was it, said deadly seriously, by the way. Like, yeah, there was no humour. Like, it, it, like, it was an absolute Liam Neeson. I will find him, <laughs> even if it's in the Fey Wild, and I will murder him. So it's safe outside, like there's no one we will spot. Not okay. right now, but you can hear people moving around. If you leave it open, they might. In that case, let's get over here so no one finds the, the secret lair. Okay. And you're just going to head straight out of Champion's Hold. Do you want to go anywhere in here in particular? Is there a candle on the other side where you can close you the door? Can close the door yeah, again. you just pull it, pull it to you. Um, how close is this to, say... The temple and stuff? It's pretty well, close to the temple. The temple, but also like... The main council room, or oh, main it's council room is really close. Yeah, you yeah. can make your way there if you want. It's I mean, like, do you want to be seen while in... <sighs> I think just go. listening in would be interesting. In the corridor, like, do we want to, do we want to be seen in here? And you can hear like. I mean, two people around. in the party can now go invisible. You can now hear people like who mm. minor gossip and our conversation off in the distance. Can I mm. actually? <laughs> still there? Still there for you? It's still there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I, can I go invisible and just walk a bit up ahead Laura and vanishes. see if I can see anything? Okay. Yeah, you walk Sorry, ahead. Uh, nobody knows where you've gone. Uh, you move up ahead and you make your way into a main corridor, which you know leads to some of the several secretarial offices, um, some of the rooms where they keep guests. 
uh, you see guards in the green armor, the kind of like green livery of the the, so it the, the same artisans. as usual. It looks as if nothing has changed. Right. Um, people are going about. You can hear that uh, work orders and things are being arranged. Um, you do maybe hear a couple of interesting things. Um, you hear mention of the new council members um, uh, being put into positions and needing you know people to help set them up. You hear uh, you hear something about like. We will need to arrange a meeting uh, with all of the guild heads to inform them of, of you know, the future plans with the, the new council members. Um, you hear a secretary mention something like, I mean, I imagine now that the, the council is going to have to be more involved in several city affairs, um, we should probably arrange... Uh, I know that uh, Malia wishes to arrange some sort of festival to, to celebrate the day. Um, we should make sure that uh, we start, you know, thinking about ideas of what we want to do for that. Perhaps something to celebrate the workers, people that, you know, help support them and things like that. Um, you hear sort of idle parts of conversation. They've gone to the dark side. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to go back down and say to them, um, she's one of the cows, just to oh. keep walking out, just walk out. Okay. How are we going to, how else are we going to do it? They're going to know we're here probably anyway, so... Okay. So you guys start making your way out, right? Mm. Should we not pass out the trees or something? Are you going to stealth? Do you want to try and sneak around? Or do you just want to kind of walk out? I guess we're not I mean, sure. they're going to know we're here eventually anyway. Selenia can scry on us. True. All right. Let's uh, okay. walk out nonchalantly. You can make your way out. You kind of walk with a confidence and a sort of uh, determined path where many of the kind of stewards and attendants don't really stop you. They kind of look at you curiously as you're moving past, like, hey, uh, and then you kind of carry on walking. A few of the guards have similar re reactions, but they don't move aggressively. They just kind of look strangely, um, and then you hear them maybe speaking to each other like, isn't that? And then they kind of mention your names. Um, but it's as you're kind of descending the stairs into what you know will eventually lead into the main foyer that leads to the main doors which leads out, that as you are walking, a figure that you do recognise is in your way. Um, and Dermot is standing there, uh, kind of... He looks better than the last time you saw him when he looked tired and run down and exhausted. He looks like he's slept, he's eaten, and he kind of like... Cam? Cam, what? And then you're like, look, you're not supposed to be in here. Uh, how did you... What? And he like looks around. Wait, Tele how, what? Teleportation gone wrong, sorry. Right, okay. Uh, yeah. And he like looks around, he's like, okay. All right, come with me then, I'll, I'll walk you out. And he turns around. Um, teleportation gone wrong, I'll, I'll have to talk to Alfred about that. No, it was, um, it was one of my spells. Oh. Sorry. Pick the wrong tree. Druid thing. Deception check. Damn From Melora. Can I aid? With you can aid, you can give advantage. <laughs> I gave a whole one. Do what's wrong with my spells? <laughs> Twelve. It was Twelve. Twelve. He kind of looks at you and he's just like, well... Oh wait, actually, I have... No, it's fine. That's fine. Of course, you are allowed to be here, Miss Galanadel. You are technically an ambassador. Um, Am it's... I still an ambassador? We don't really know these days. Though. You are, yes. The council still wishes to keep relationships with the Elven Spies. Well, Miss Jing and... Cam uh, are normal citizens and are allowed in areas of Champion's Hold. Um, we are her god. You're, you're Reynard Ferrahorn, right? Yes. Uh, hi. You're, I think we've met before. We have we? met. I'm guessing Frederick Ferrahorn's your dad. Yes. Well, uh, technically you're allowed here then. Yeah. Nice. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, right, well, uh, and I suppose I need to call you Mr. Ferrahorn from now on. Um, Oh, I'll lead you out. And he kind of mentions and starts stepping his way towards the corridor. Um, everything seems normal. Champion's Hold is business as usual. As you step out onto the streets, you can see that the guard presence is down. People are going back to work. Everything seems pretty normal. Uh, you can see people are taking down posters here and there. Posters, some of which are talking about the council. You know, believe in your council. We're here for you. Some of them are saying, the Korak built this city, he'll lead us to glory, or like, he'll lead us to victory. And people are taking them down, um, mm -hmm. sort of putting them away. Uh, Dermot, kind of as he's leading you out, he's like, well, uh, where are you heading? Got any, any plans, or? I think we're just gonna go to our old watering hole. Oh, right, where, whereabouts? The, 
the I don't actually know Finny the name of that. Finny's. Do we really want to tell him this? No, you don't want to tell him anything. Are you saying that out loud? Because <laughs> he is now like leader of the guard. He yeah, he's, like, yeah, he's a commander. He's a commander of the city watch. Mm. Um, as Callum kind of opens his mouth to say whatever about like, Finny's tavern, him. I'm just going to be like, we have not yet decided our plans or our location. Well, uh, obviously you are free to go about the city, Miss Glendale. Um, I do think the council would want to speak with you soon about your relationship with them and relationships between Talis Vaal and the Republic and the, sit and the Spires. Uh, Mr. Ferrahorn, as always, uh, you are welcome at Champions Hold. Um, you'll, I imagine your father will be there quite often from now on, so... Um, Curious. Hmm. Is he a guild member? You don't know. I guess you've been away on yes. some stuff. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Uh, uh, kind of. I feel awful. This is. I know that you're. Well, I know. I know how much you think of Korak, and I know he's your friend. Um, he he didn't win. Uh, the vote was yesterday, and because of what the council found out and told people, I think it swung it in their favour. Um, several of the council members left. Some of them have been voted out of their positions. Uh, Mr. Ferrohorn has taken over from Ellen in, as the head of the carpentry. Um, and, yeah, I'm really sorry. Uh, I know it's hard. I can't say, oh, well, uh, yeah. Well, there are bigger things than electoral votes. Yes, that's my main focus now. He kind of leans in, he's like, it worries me that the council think that the Broken Sky problem has been dealt with. I don't think it has. So I'm trying to do what I can. Has there been any word from Felania? No, that's the thing. His, for the last couple of weeks, there's nothing. No attacks, no banditry, no messages. We caught a few, few of them. We've locked them up. It's like they handed themselves in though. Like I've been struggling to catch these guys for months. And suddenly I grab a bunch of them that have supposedly been doing everything in the city. Does that not seem suspect to you? Yeah, it does to me, but what the council count? have been... They, to them it's a victory, they think we're safe, they think they've won, they thought... Oh man. They've just they think, brought more people into the city and locked them up ready to strike. Well, this is the thing is, I don't know if they are in the city. It feels like, it feels like they've given up on it. Like, these guys handed themselves in, we've collapsed all the tunnels, I've... I've done everything, and I don't think they're here, but I don't think this is the last we've heard of them, but the council sees it as a win. They sold their whole election campaign on it. We got rid of them. Korak's done nothing. It's we anything's it getting our, power, and it's worrying what they're gonna do with well, it. I think that they are, I think they do believe that what they did, I think they believe their own crap. I think they do think that they stopped something, because that's what they want to believe, but. I've been around too much to know that it's it's as easy as that. Well, listen, um, I've I've got to go back. My my duties to the city. So, Dermot, can we still trust you? Of course you can. I know you think I'm up to something because I support the council, but it's not. I don't support the council. I support the city. I support what Korak tried to build. And of course, I'm upset that he can wasn't voted. Can I insight check? Yeah, of course. Twenty. Unnatural Seventeen. 20. 18. Okay, I mean, yeah, like, this guy seems to really be trying to, he's trying to persuade you that you can trust him. Okay. Then in terms of saving the city, you know something's not quite right. I've got, the council have told me to lay off on some of the patrols, but I'm, I've asked the boys to volunteer their time as best they can. I think it's time to not trust anyone. I know that Korak and the other paladins at Bahamut are doing what they can. They're also, they're technically under jurisdiction of the armies, but they're kind of doing their own investigations as well. Okay, thank you, Dermot. Please uh, stay vigilant. I, yeah, of course. I, I want this place to be yeah. safe. We know, we've just, we've been away for a while and we need to just get Go our bearings. Go and speak to Korak. You need to know what happened, especially with him. And he's going to give you a nod and he heads back in. And that's where we're going to finish this week. Oh. Um, oh, man. More news. Well. well, it's not dreadful. It's not like we've come back to carnage and screaming. Yeah. And Everything seems the calm great. Before the storm. I don't like it. I don't like it. 
Might the calm be before nice. the storm. Yep. That's almost like what this episode could be called. It's literally in my notes of calm before the storm. It literally is storm giants. <laughs> so yeah, well that's it. It's like cloud giants and storm giants and stuff. And a so, stormy dragon. Good episode. Let us read some donos. Thank you, Sam. Those. I'm sorry that that went on a bit later. Hopefully, no, we won't keep you cool. two past eight. Damn it, Daddy Farrowhorn. Oh, we're not helping out Graver. We don't know. Go Florin 10. Hi, guys. Thank you for wishing me luck in my exams last week. I went pretty well Yay. so far. I still have one exam left before I can start watching you wonderful guys live again. Have a nice weekend. P.S. It's my birthday tomorrow. Happy Yay. birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. 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 Jeremy donated uh, a generous donation. Thank you. Thanks for an awesome Ooh. stream. Can't wait to see you on I 62. See you there. Cool. See you there. Nightjar, just a heart. Thank you very much, Nightjar. Uh, Ola Renve donated, no message. Thank you very much. And the last one I'll read, the Swag Elf donated. Um, have been watching for nearly two years and first time donating. I don't have much to spare, but wanted to give you lovely fellas a big thank you. Well, thank you very much. It's super appreciated. Don't feel you have to do anything, but it's not very much appreciated. Trot. Mr. Fancy Pants 342 with a half hundo. Half hundo. Hey guys, I've been watching since the party I mean, met Thara's Dunn. I've been up to date ever since. This is my first time catching a session live. I want to say that HR has been a massive inspiration to me. I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank very you so kind much. of you. Uh, Metamanu donated. Kim, it's time. You've done everything you could for that poor pen. The time has come. Let it rest in peace. It served you well. <laughs> it's not. It, it's brand new. It's gone. I it bought this at Comic Con. Comic -Con. It's dead. So it's only it's a couple, couple of months it's old and it's freaking broken. Cheap piece. Wig main <laughs> three two three with a full hundo. Whoa. Holy shit! This loads. First Jeez, time. Can I buy a new pen with that? First time I know. First time I've been able to catch a stream at the start. I've watched every session and love you guys. So hi from New York City. P.S. Hey. While I love you, Hazel, I will miss old Matt and Trev. <laughs> wow. That's fair. There's space for two. Uh, Vex is the untamed. A uh, half hundo. Jesus, guys. <laughs> can uh, the least, the? Can yes. the least, can the least reform his hand into other shapes? Oh. Other than hands? Technically he could, yeah. He can create any shape in a five foot radius. He's kind of got a bit of... Green Lantern power, I guess, with it. Nice. I just have this image in my head of him flying into the final battle from the North Moonflower print pinned to his lapel and an ice maul for a hand that he just cracks the skulls with Laura's name. At least three is a weedy nerd. He's not gonna fight anyone. Yes, hi, Mark. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but we can uh, imagine. Mark. We can imagine it, yeah. It's, yeah. Never, it's like... Power yeah. of imagination. I'm gonna save some of these for other people. Uh, Density on Fire has donated a hundo. Wow. wow. Jesus, guys. No, wow. Um, you guys are my favourite D&D streamer, I love watching every week. Your RP is always amazing, the story is gripping and you just keep doing you no matter what people say. You know your characters and the decisions they'd make best. Thank you very much. Good and bad. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Frank the NPC has donated saying, Fiery Dragon Fight of Doom but with lightning, GG. Will we get that sweet cam death? Sweet cam death? What? <laughs> sweet cam death. You got uh, and down. Frank the NPC has donated again saying, Mark, can we get a DM ruling so the dragon ba being bound should have ended when Reynard was knocked out? Because no, because the spell is concentration to put on the weapon, but once it triggers, I see it. Because the thing is, we flavor Reynard stuff as being less magical yeah. and more of a like Hunter. gadget. So, so for yeah. me, it would not make sense that suddenly, because he's unconscious, all the ropes fall off. Like, yeah. so However, I just like, it is also ropes for Reynard and not spells. So how does that work? There you go. There you there go. go. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's just a bowler type thing. That yeah, that's what we Ralan kind of always throw at us. H has donated saying, at 53 minutes in, Mark almost sounded a bit like a very hungry huge Yoda. I shall <laughs> consume you. Mark boy, best boy. Also, really <laughs> got wrecked, mate. They have cam, so no problem. <laughs> well, then cam also got Sweet knocked guys. out. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go? Uh, Laura <laughs> Sevi. <laughs> oh, kind DM, be merciful. No. My connection is rubbish today, so I'll just have to watch the VOD. Good luck with the dragon, guys. Don't die. Well. <laughs> Didn't die. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Metamani. Raynard lives! So many nat 20s. Yeah, I had like I six or something. You were fucking was crazy. Oh, that crazy. Was high that <laughs> saved your ass. <laughs> I'm interested to see high roller stats for that. Um, Elenthal. Uh, sitting here with my high rollers t-shirt and hoodie. Drinking from no. my high rollers mug. Wow. Watching the best that episode ever of the high rollers stream. How can life get any better? Thank you for all the entertainment in the last few years. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, It'd get better if you buy some high rollers dice. Oh wow. Fail They're sold out. Store. They're sold out. Sorry. <laughs> She's you've already got all the money. Strap yeah. down. <laughs> uh, Bam goes D and D for all those who can't donate but want to. This ah. one is for you. We love Thanks, you, high Bam. droolers. P.S. Please roll a nat twenty on me not passing out in the dentist chair. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, you're, you're, you're good. Six, you're fine. Six, um, 16. I have a massive toothache and dentist isn't available until tomorrow. I'm scared. Ooh, you'll do fine. I've, I've fine. gone through that. It's You'll be fine, but it's yeah, fine. it sucks. Dentists know what they do. You'll just get the anaesthetic. You're all good. Uh, I'll do Juan more. Ekron. Thanks for providing hours of entertainment. I love what you're all doing. Keep it up. And thanks, Mark, for answering my question about weapon enchantments on Twitter. Also, nap snack. Nice. Nap snack. Nap snack. Thank you very Not much. Not many Markisms today. No. On fire. Scoop, Scoop down up the squeeze. Squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> Scoop up the squeeze. Scoop up the squeeze. I think that's the top one. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, sentimental elk. I like that name. After a week of avoiding my dissertation, I finally caught back up with the live shows, was back when Rainey first joined. Thought I'd donate what I can to say thanks for all the laughs, feels and distraction from my medieval history dissertation. Ooh. Good luck with the dissertation. That sounds cool and shit. I've done one, it sucks. Um, Dabber uh, has donated. My heart was in my mouth during all of that. You gave me a hecking spook. <laughs> a hecking spook. spook. Hecking spooks me. Um, sure the duh. Uh, me and my work friend shall start a role play, and the GM wants to be Warhammer Fantasy World. Mm. So then, when we need our character, we roll for almost all. So I am 183 centimeters, and I roll a one of my <laughs> weight, so I weigh 105 pounds. Super, super wow. tall and skinny. Yeah. yeah. My first role play game. Nice. So you're essentially the they're making a, They're making a new Warhammer Fantasy role playing game, actually. Oh, no. Yeah, it looks really good. Mm. Yeah. I'm kind of just imagining like a big Warhammer Slenderman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With power on. Chaos, that can happen. Um, syphilis, no, Seph, Sephil1126. Hey, rollers, literally just came back from a four day ski trip. Uh, so I'm super broke, but I am slowly becoming addicted to you guys struggling to pronounce my username <laughs> wow. every week. Yeah. I guess that's what I get for using a crappy username that I made years ago, I guess. I think I tried it last week. I <laughs> Sorry. It. Sorry. Back to you, Mark. Oh my goodness. Ace of Thorns has donated Dragon 2, the Dragon Inn. <laughs> Double bill of fun and adventure with Day of the Wolf Bear. You can't get more crazy than this? Oh, come on, it's High Rollers, and that's why we love you, fine folks. So nice. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ace of Thorns. Yeah, Nightjar donated again. Yay, Howl is saved. Will he be known as Growl now? Add that adorable bear boy to the plushy merch list pronto. <laughs> Uh, Nightingale has donated. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Uh, for Tom there. Uh, They're he's both lovely. gone. They're both gone. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. I'm old and I need to go home. Sky Silverwing has donated. <laughs> People act like this series is almost over, but if the last arc was any indication, arcs take five episodes, Broken Sky and Briseris, and whatever time goes into mm. Allura finding the other spies and faffing about is less than 12 episodes. Buying TPK, of course. Allura mm. thing's not happening. Uh, it's so not probably going to happen because she's found most of them. Don't make assumptions. It's uh, going to keep going for as long as it does. As long as it does. <laughs> uh, Hell, Garen the Mad donated. First time watching live in quite a while, so I have some of my ever dwindling funds. Well, don't, oh, don't, don't, don't do it, but thank you. Hmm. Thanks for watching. And then the Nord's House donated. Thanks to all for keeping me entertained every week. Also, nine. Nine! 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 From Critical Role. Oh, nine. Nine! Oh, uh, nine. I got it now. Nine. Chris Trot. Awkward Dog Burner has donated. This week's burner rating. Booty out of 20. Penetrate the loot hole with the magic spear's giant tip. Raging hard on moment. Shooketh boy lives to acute another day. <laughs> Erection rejection moment. Cam, please point where the ice wizard touched you. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag bone on Sunday. Damn. Thank you, all good dog burner, as Ooh. always. Ooh! Go on, next one. Zafir one. Oh, a spicy ending. Thanks again, guys. Here's another small token of my appreciation. Thank you. To be. To be? <laughs> Today's completely not arbitrary question. What's your favorite planet? Pluto. Uh, it says, please note, Pluto is not a valid answer, and saying your anus will bring shame upon your family. Venus! I like Saturn. Earth. I yeah, like Earth um, is pretty okay. I like Mars sometimes. Because I want to go there. Cool. Getting a shit, mate. Elon, Elon will do that. Elon! Elon. <laughs> the last one is from Varys, who donated, saying, Just my weekly donation. Nothing much to say apart from I'm a bit worried about that dragon and where he, what he might do. Keep up the good work, and I can't wait for the next episode. You. Well, you can all tune in to the next episode next Sunday, and it might be interesting. It might yes. Be. Might not be. It will be an interesting episode next week. So Maybe make sure on Twitter. you watch that. Follow on Twitter. Uh, follow, go and chat in Discord, but yeah, definitely don't miss next week. Tell everybody else not to mix, miss it as well. Don't mix um, it. Don't mix it. It's gonna be very uh, that's it. Uh, Thanks very much. Follow us at High Rollers D and D on Twitter, by the way. Ooh. It's Cam Takeover Week. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much. Sorry. In Bye. Bye. See you next Thank week. you.
Goodbye, bye, 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 b